Are we live? Now. Now we are live. Live from the Hotel Schmotel. We got Big Dub around the oh. We got the Foxy Fox man. We got Brooklyn. We're about so to get guys. some some pizza. I hope the internet's good because it's I'm connected to the, the Wi-Fi right now. This is good. This is a good yeah, right. Oh yeah, that's true. Very nice. nice. Just gotta wanna go with the comments right here. Oh, Greg Cook, what's up, my man? Oh man, Greg, I already miss you. Miss you, Greg. Need to get this damn chat pulled up. Actually, it's a good idea. Great chat on my phone. Yeah, man, those lights are super bright. You were balking yours with the That's chair, true. yeah. You want that pink, pink chair? Nah, it is. So much. Uh, Brennan, what's up? Jumpman. Uh, Ren. Yo, Toy Bills. Nuji. Uh, Marcella. Uh, Broken Baller, Louis, Louis, Omar, Ryan, what's up, homie? Cody, what's going on? Damn, Johnny Boy with the 20 right out of the gate, my man. Just, just what's what's an, up, brother? Indicator Thank you. Of wow. what may be on the table. I appreciate it, Johnny Boy, my man. Yeah, I live streamed last night. <laughs> Jesus, I don't know. Yeah, it was a live stream, I guess. Danny, what's up, brother? A little while. Um, Johnny Boy, my man. Uh, Greg Cook's almost finished with part one. Yo, I am so excited to see your video because you too. filmed way more than we did. I think, at least. Yeah, he filmed yeah, a lot, yeah. like a lot of the behind the scenes stuff, not yeah. just like toys. Which, Dude, that's kind of what I. It's going to be too. awesome. I'm anxious to see just what the things that none of us realized he was filming. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. especially Brooklyn. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, soft game strong. Ninety, game strong. ninety-one clips. That's a lot. Wow, that's awesome. That is great. I finished up my video, just did a little, quick little outro. I don't know how much I recorded, but wait till you see Mike's vintage he put out. Yeah, I was, uh, he actually showed me some pics of what he was after, or what he was putting out. And, um, um, yeah, it looks like some good stuff. I might stop by there on the way out. Billy, you out of here, brother? Is that what it is? Cheers to the toy house for everyone. Yeah, dude. Um, you guys honestly don't even know what's what's going on. Um, there is a lot of uh, crazy hauls these two gentlemen behind me got. Workflow, see you later, Billy. My man. I miss you too, dude. Paul. Kevin Vallejo, what's going on? Paul Cousin? Greg, what's up, man? I'm gonna add this to the syndicate real quick. Space Space Gaming, how much did you spend? How much did I spend? Yeah. Mm -hmm. $72. Yep. Greg said he loves the towel, bro. She's going for a new look. Let's see. Uh, what's up, Foxy? What's up, Paul? How's it going? Paul who? Uh, Paul Cousin. Paul Cousin. What's Paul up? Cousin. Let's see the toilet. Let's see. <laughs> Greg said, Brian is way too quiet. I gotta finish this. Yeah. <laughs> Come back to life juice. Oh, man. Yeah, it is. I, I think I'm still walking back from the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that man. food was good, though. Yeah, it was delicious. Um, That's my favorite place. I was expecting a bigger number. I, I don't know, man. I mean, it. Then $72. Yeah, there's deals. There's deals made. To haggle it, you know. I will say, um,. This, I got, you probably can't see the price of it. I got this deluxe Spider Man for $285 after tax. Tennessee tax, 10%. Yep, they'll get you every time. And then, I don't know what I paid for this. What's tax on what you got? Mine's seven and a quarter. Mine's 96, yeah. We don't, six have, we don't have any special local option taxes right now. Yeah, we got 10% tax. Greg, you remember, bro. It was good food. It was good stories. It was, it was hot ass wings. Three days in Okinawa. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I got the. Uh, this is the Rogue One Vader. Those are the Compliments of this man behind me. He helped me get this. And I don't even like touching this. But he also made. If you guys uh, probably watch. May, hopefully, watch my last video. And then maybe I think I posted in the Syndicate or the Cinecomics. This is um, Venom number three. This is the one in 25 variant cover done by Jorge Molina. Fantastic um, artist. I actually met him at C2E2. Um, if you guys know what this comic is, um, yeah, you already know what this is fetching. 
And once again, thanks to this guy back here. Just got to show a little skin. Got it for, <laughs> got it for a fantastic uh, deal, I guess you could say. I think so. Yeah. We came, I guess we came out of that. I guess it's a deal. No. Um, Danny, yeah, that's the deluxe Spider-Man. It. Uh, I guess I can open it up for you guys. I'm super excited for this. That is up the skirt there. That, yeah. There we go. Is yeah. it juicy? It is juicy. <laughs> so. It comes with, um, obviously, the Tom Holland head sculpt, the vulture mask, which is cool. Um, a book bag, his school jacket, his books, the mask, like had like how it's taken off, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a badass looking figure. I'm super excited for that. Wasatch Pop, yo, fanboy was dope, brother. Um, it somebody, was such a great experience. Somebody asked me what figure I wanted with the new Venom Wave, Marvel Legend. I want that entire wave. Ham, Spider Ham, Spider Ham. <laughs> I want that entire wave. Pork grind. I'd say pork grind for sure. Did you say? Did you remember what happened last night? Well, let's just address this, okay? <laughs> yeah. Um, when Josh showed C three PO, that was the last thing I remember. I woke up at seven o'clock and we were going to the fanboy. So. That was all that happened. Yeah. Just a blink. It was like nothing. Yeah, like, I mean, I think you know we got R two out. Yo, bit. Aaron. Nothing like this. My brother. Out. I'm seriously no. so sorry, dude. Ask ask these guys. I went to the autograph lines probably like six times, honestly, yeah. to stand yeah. in line, and then they're like, oh, so and so's at a photo op. So and so's at a. It's closed for this reason. Yeah. yeah, they closed Jeremy Bullock's line. This person line. has swine flu. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> they, they closed Jeremy Bullock's line three hours before close. They're like, yep, no more. And then Ian McDermott's line was insanely long, and he kept doing panels and photo ops. Like, he would sign for like two hours, and then he'd go do a, a, a panel, and then they would cut the line off. If he, was at, if he wasn't at the booth, nobody was allowed to line up. It sucks. Um, so I'm actually very, uh, very upset. And it was musky in that area. Oh, man, it was bad. It was so hot in there. It was probably at least 90 degrees there in that was, whole arena. I mean, if, there, if Gold Bond medicated powder had been there with samples, yeah. they, they'd have made, <laughs> they'd made, they'd made good. For sure. <laughs> oh, shoot. Um, Paul Hughes, my man, what's going on? Everybody said that goose got you. You, Joe, you don't even know the size what of goose? the shots, though. That Joe goose? Rizzo, what's up, man? That goose, man. The oh. shots are huge, man. We need to go see what's up. Uh, <laughs> I think we need to wait a minute. Beer. Are we going? I'm just gonna investigate. Yeah, there's I'm not there's see. not much left. Let's gonna see. There's nothing nothing left at all. Um Joey Fulmer, what's up, homie? And shout out to Prowl Parodies. Dude, meeting you today was awesome. Yeah, we have very, very little. Um Joey Fulmer, yo, let me let me know on that. Because literally today, this just happened. I was able to secure this. So if you are already in a trade for this, I will still do a trade with you for it to get this because I don't think I'm going to open this one. <laughs> it's too crispy and I don't even want to bend the pages. So if you have a trade coming through, I know you said you were working on one man. I, gotta, I, don't, I don't want you to get screwed out of it because this was a surprise to me, like totally out of nowhere. This guy was like, hey, we got this deal worked out. So. I gotta read this. Slide it in the bag. Colin Brick said, JP, did you run into Greg Cook? He was there. Uh, yeah, we were actually uh, with Greg bit. Cook the yeah. whole time. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, he ran into us at like the third. Disconnect you and then want you to splash page. I yeah. think that's probably what was freezing your upload yesterday. Um, no idea what just happened. Hopefully we're still alive. I was on the uh, this the, the, the hotel Wi-Fi. Jetta Patrol, Brian, what's up, man? Got to hang out with uh, good old buddy Greg Cook today. Um, hey, I wasn't able to make it. Yeah, he said you were doing some video, maybe? He didn't say any spoilers or anything. He just said you were working on a video. So, it would have been worth the drive. That's all I'm saying. It was beyond worth the four hours that I drew. Um, Nate Simmons, what's up, brother? Oh, man. Oh, yeah. I did pick, uh, I did pick this up. Thanks to Cody, he actually, you found this, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah Cody way. found this. I want to say I just bought it to take some pictures. Um, we, uh, yeah, we're into the toy photography. I know. That looks dope. Yeah, that white hand of Saruman right on the nipple there. Yeah. He's got it. He's got it going on. Yeah. He's a cool figure, though. So, I'll be taking some pictures of him probably with the homie toy bills. Uh, yeah, Andrew, at some point. 
Adam Fry, what's up, man? It, uh, the show is amazing. Honestly, literally best con I've ever been to. Not fanboy, but the best con ever. Andrew, I'm glad you made it home safe, man. It was it was really fun meeting you. Uh, hope to see you again soon. Damn, brother, you're already home. Well, I guess it is like really late. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good. Enjoy your uh, Terminator figure, brother. We all thought it was like six and, o'clock. Um, Karina will enjoy this, man. I already told her about it, so thank you once again for hooking up with us. Um, Greg said the air conditioning was awesome. Yeah, it was literally probably the the coolest con I've ever been to. It was probably like a good sixty degrees in there. Wow, that is. That's how you know we're yeah. going back a bit. That does look good. I'm thinking about clicking the Lord of the Rings. Honestly, most of these Lord of the Rings figures aren't that great um, articulation wise or anything. They just look no, pretty man. cool. They, they, like they these, do typically have good sculpts, but they're like the orcs, articulation doesn't even make sense. And everything is good, but the human figures not the best yeah, sculpts. I agree with that. Um, but this is going to look really good in pictures. I think I have, I have like a, an idea with the forest and everything. Like, but that comparably, kind of I mean, this is probably what is that? Like two thousand two thousand three. So three? fifteen years old to look good at all. Drain, drain. You didn't miss the pickups, brother. Yeah, we haven't even at all. Like, yeah, like I'm gonna let these two go over. Wait, there we go. Hey, <laughs> these two go over their hauls. This guy right here. Woo. Jesus, he picked up one of the Grail Grails of. Grails. Quote of the day. Yeah. Big absolutely. Dub has big Johnny holes. Boy, what's up, man? Big Dub's got big holes. Quote <laughs> of the day. Um, let's see. Uh, Garrett the Geek says, come on over to Florida to Supercon on Friday in two weeks, please. If so. Well, I mean, you know, if if, uh, if if I was able to, I would. I want to go to Florida to hunt. Because there's a lot of good people in Florida. We got Jim Pizzeo. We got, who else? We got P2. P2's down there. We have uh, a Sergeant people, Funko. A lot of people from Syndicate that don't have YouTube channels. Right, I mean, I'm like, just thinking of people that... I got you, but like, know. there's yeah. a lot of... Like, a lot of people, when we were in Florida <laughs> for our honeymoon, there's a lot of people that helped me out and told me where to go. That is true. So, I appreciate that. Um, yeah, Greg Cook is now my hero as well. What was the damage for the day? I don't, Honestly, I don't know. I wonder if we added up how much we all spent. I don't think we should do that. I don't think we should. $78. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't much. I had I was maybe spent thirty. Uh Lewis, Jeremy Bullock was there, Ian McDermott and Daniel Logan. <laughs> and I think that's all the um, And the Backstreet Boys. Yeah, well he said Star Wars. Wars. Oh, wow. He's talking about Star Wars. Did we money? order pizza yet? Uh, do we need money? To get the best deal possible. Rick Flair. Priceline. Yeah, we saw Rick Flair, we saw some of the Backstreet Boys. Who did we see? We saw Nick Carter, uh AJ. Is that one? Uh, yeah. I think it was three or four. Space Space says, I say between you guys about $600. <laughs> what, per person? That's a good day. Yeah, so what kind of pizza y'all We saw the Hot Toys Hulkbuster yeah. twice. Yeah, we did see the Hulkbuster yeah. twice. And it was crazy. One had it for 1300 and the other place had it for 1800 So... It's insane. I should have bought it at the first place. But the thirteen hundred one? What do you think you could have got for eleven? Or maybe you just uh, I probably could have got that. I bet I could have got that and this for like fourteen fifty, something like that yeah. probably. Cause that's a big item to move, like yeah. when someone's like, Hey, this is what I'll give you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Especially yeah. Yeah. They didn't seem like they sold a lot of stuff at that point. <laughs> I uh, you know, said Hulk bust the wallet. That's that's for sure. Yeah, sure. Uh, there was there was the red, the Red Hulk entire wave of oh, yeah. legends for five hundred. Yeah, we saw the uh, it was the carded Target exclusive wa- uh, Marvel Legends wave of the Red Hulk build a figure for five hundred. We whole. saw basically the scalpers booth. Yeah, we lit it. There was a booth. I'm not even kidding. This guy had the Toys R Us two packs. So like the Vision, Scarlet Witch, the Cyclops, the. Um, Pretty much like all the Yeah, products. any Toys R Us recent Marvel Ego. Legends. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, hey, how much do you guys have on this? He's like, oh, they're $100 because they're Toys R Us exclusive. And I literally looked at it and I was like, really? This is starting already? And he literally turned around and walked away. And we walked by his uh, booth a couple times and he had the same stuff the whole time. Like, yeah, selling everything selling was very, very, not, not like con overpriced, but like out of your mind overpriced. Yeah. Like it was, and there was prices on nothing, so you had to ask them for each individual thing. 
Did they have the true X Men wave? No, they did not. Um, you can go back. Toy department has that though. We sold our vision and wish scarlet two pack for fifty dollars at the store. Exactly. I mean that's. Three pizzas and a pasta. Four. I mean. Uh, three pizzas? Is that what? You're... I didn't play three pizzas. I mean, two pizzas is no, probably good. Yeah, there's not three pizzas on there, is it? What no. is specialty chicken coffee? Coffee? Huh. What's that? Wings. Um, that's wings. That's wings. No prices. That's when you know it's overpriced. Yo, I eat for real. I'm good with that's because yeah, I, yeah, when yeah. you ask them, well, hey, what's this price? The first thing they do. Whip out their phone. Uh, yeah. no, we could that's do it no, for this. Yeah. Like, it's no marked prices. It's bad. Don't shop there. Yeah. That's a that's a universal rule. Yeah. Any store you walk into, if they don't have prices marked, no. It's bad. Uh, unfortunately, Karina did not go with me. Um, she stayed home with the kids. So I bought her quite a few pops. Hopefully that's good. And we went to the uh, Bobby Tarantino or Logic concert Thursday. Which is Pen Yo, you know what? Pinty Tarantino's coming out tonight. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Pinty Tarantino's coming out. Ready for it? Yeah, great. Hey now. Hey now. Right, let's eat. Let's get a little nibbles and yeah, some pizza. Somebody did uh, spend $20. Wasn't that that wasn't for that, though. I'm sure. That was for being um, a little <laughs> The con had some good stuff, man. The cosplayers are the same. Proud, you were there? Proud parodies. Proud was there, yeah. He, he came up to me. Yeah. I must have probably been waiting. You were actually wheeling and dealing in comic exchange. Oh, really? What? Yeah. yeah. Did I get the Jedi Luke hot toys? No, I am still uh, still have that um, coming out of my bank account through Sideshow. Um, I don't know, man. I like that. I, I saw the Anakin there. I would have bought it if it wasn't on uh, the payment plan. But I got to slow down. There's two more hot toys that I'm adding, and two more sideshows, because I got the C-3PO and the R2-D2 sideshow. So what's your six scale count now? Honestly? Ten? Um, one, two, I ten, I, I know nine. three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and I'll have nineteen on Monday. That's kind of strong. Yeah, and I'll have 19 six scales in a month. That's Ooh. 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 Yeah. Ooh. How much was that Venom book that That's I picked up? Balls too. Um, I don't, I don't know how much the Venom book was. It was included. It, it was included in a deal. Yeah. That this guy mastermind and I, uh, we pretty much kind of like split it in a in threes. Is that what we did? Pretty much. We did. Yeah. They had it priced at a at a hundo. But we did not pay. We, yeah, we definitely not even close to we that. We paid significantly less than a hundred. Yeah. Yep. You can take away two of the numbers from the Honda. Yeah, pretty much. And, and that's that's you, a you one and a zero. Um, you got to get a hot toy now. Oh, you got to get a Game of Thrones hot toy now. Yeah, they they do what, a three zero. Three zero. Three zero. Yeah. I am surprised we didn't see that Kira one. Daenerys. Daenerys. That's right. Yeah. I don't think we saw a single. I did not see a single Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. I figured. Not even like a Jamie or Hound. Yeah. I didn't see any either. He said, yeah, Josh, you look somewhat busy, and I had to go get my Peter Cullen and Giant Mob to. That is insane. He wasn't in a little bit. Damn, angry. dude, they waited for two hours and 15 minutes cool. for that Peter Cullen picture. Or some. Yeah, that's it. Wow. So, Man. was it when we were getting this, or was it when I was contemplating you Bucky? Uh, yeah, yeah, I was in pretty deep thought right there, brother. I'm sorry, man. You had like five people, like, man, do it this way or go do this, yeah, and then it was, it was stressful. you had them telling you. But honestly, I walked away with this instead, and I'm happy with this. Yeah. I'm excited to open this. I wish I could open it now, but I'm not. What's that? What's that? I don't know what this. You, do you know you what this change, is? Like? It's, for, it's so you can change the stand. Oh, okay, it has two different stand covers. Nice. So, for those of you out there, I know uh, the people in chat, Danny, if you're still on here, brother, I know you got this. Um, Ryan, I know you have this. I know Big Dove has this. Um, what do you guys think of this? Because I got it for retail, pretty much, plus tax. And I know for sure it's like a four, 400, 415 range, I would say. Um, probably closer to like the 375, 400 range, but honestly, I like the box. Yeah. The box is cool. Yeah. I like this better than the homemade suit. If you got that for retail, you got to steal. Yeah, it was um, it was two sixty nine. They had the sticker on there, um, and then plus the ten percent Tennessee tax. Tennessee. <clears throat> um, 
That raffle I won, and then made five. Ooh, five hundred. I prefer the masks go off the eyes, look off on the side, off to the side of Holland's Holland scope. Nice. Yeah, I mean, I'll I'll probably have the the mask. Sculpt on because I want to put the, the school jacket on. That's yeah, honestly one of the so main kicks. Two fifty one ninety nine was what it, the price on Sideshow was. Oh, yeah, so that's literally fifteen dollars. Shipping is always twenty dollars, so you, you actually got it less. Ultimately paid less than what I paid for it. Ultimately. Yeah, Ooh. tax offsetting, yeah. very similar. Price, right? Yeah, that's not bad. Wow, that's awesome. Uh, KB the Toy Hunter, what's up, man? Sorry, guys, my computer's on here instead of in, in front of me right now. Yeah. I got a, I think I have money somewhere. I have 22 right here. <laughs> Greg Cook said 10% Tennessee tax, what the hell? Well, that iron spidey, I mean, he is just sexy. Yeah, he, he looks pretty damn good. Thor, what's up, brother? The con was mwah, the most bueno. Yeah, he was That so was like good. Italian and Spanish at the same time, right? Yeah, like, yeah, bro, you went bueno. Godfather and <laughs> El Godfather. <right? laughs> El Godfather. Did you guys go to the one booth with a lot of three and three quarter stars figs? Uh, yeah, yeah, was probably. The one that we walked in and was like, oh, too expensive. Yeah, Let's those go. those prices. They're always like that at that con. That booth is always there at Fanboy, and they're always really expensive. They did have the brand new uh, Spider Wave. Yeah, I didn't even see that. This guy saw yeah. it. Did but you get it on video? Yeah, nice. yeah. They only had a house of uh, M because uh, somebody in the syndicate actually bought the rest of them. So. Oh, was that the the Doc Ock pig? Yeah. Nice. yeah, Doc Ock's very good. I don't know why. They ch they cheap so much on the towels though. They don't clasp. They're not very yeah. Someone was asking about Venom number three. Yeah, uh, Sith. I did pick up Venom number three. I'm very very grateful for that. Like, literally, I was so bummed that it like skyrocketed like it did. Which I was talking to a guy at a comic booth that like ran the place. Um, he said that comic's really going to depend if they keep doing something with. I guess this is like a new whatever, then the comic value will probably stay the same, which honestly, I don't even give a shit about the value. It's literally because it's Jorge Molina, it's a dope cover, and since I met him, I kind of have like that attachment to his art or whatever. Um, since I got like my first original comic print from him, I got him, I don't know, I, I talked to him for a little bit, he was cool. So, I was, uh, was very excited to get that. I was bummed, because it was like, oh, it's a 1 in 25 variant, and I know I paid like Twenty dollars for the the ASM eight hundred variant. So I was like, okay, well I might pay like twenty twenty five bucks for that. Yeah, I'm gonna keep looking at it. And um, ended up like I talked to two of my local shops. I posted on uh, groups. I talked to people. I looked on eBay, and this thing was going for like one hundred and fifty or something. It was just like I don't. I didn't even understand it, but yeah, it looks beautiful. It's super exciting. In the chat. In the chat. Oh, you're going to put it in the chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it. Um, okay, sorry, let's go back. I'll definitely be back next year for Fanboy. Yeah, I, honestly, like, this crew, and plus Greg, and whoever else, like, let's make this a yearly summer thing, and Karina will come next time. For sure. And we're going to stay at the... What, what'd you, what? Tennessee. Yeah, the Tennessee. It's a sweet book. Couldn't even get one within 100 miles of my area. Oh, man. There So if you guys see what Cody is putting in the chat right now, it's actually this guy's channel. Big dub. Thanks. He is actually going to be showing his haul. Let me, um, yeah. so like, all on pause, under w, pause. Go and subscribe to Big Dub right now. Just do it. Dope champ. That would be great. He uses drones. I mean, so, just so you guys know what he rolls with, if, if you guys <laughs> are, I'm sorry, I'm, just, I'm more excited. I'm very Quote excited. of the day, Big Dub has big hauls. Yeah, Big Dub has big hauls. <laughs> so, if you guys know Mezco, and you know, like, kind of like what's hard to get, what's like sure. sought after. This is what this dude got today. Bam. Ooh, man. That's all I'm going to show. Oh my god. That's all I'm going to show. You know what it is? It's just a tease. It's just a tease. <laughs> yeah. So, Keep them wanting more for later. <laughs> like I said, in, by the end of this live stream, these two gentlemen are going to be sitting here and kind of just showing off what they got. But obviously, check the channels out. They'll be in the video description because they'll go over everything or whatever. But honestly, fellas, it was a great day. It was a... Uh, Expensive day. Expensive day, but oh, it's just the it's store. Strong. Yep, we just gotta make more money now. That's all. <laughs> yeah. Um, favorite pickups from the show. Everyone there can help. 
Like, we it's all, less expensive for the day. Come <laughs> offset. Should we all show our favorite thing? Was? Yeah, what, what's your favorite? I, I'm not saying that that was your favorite. That's, fit, that's my favorite thing you got. Oh, dude, I don't know. Honestly, I was... Uh, mm, that, yeah, yeah, no, that's, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to... Cody's going to show his favorite... Because uh, I have to actually do a favorite one. <laughs> this thing? Yeah. This is Cody's favorite pickup the of the day. Yeah. This is so, uh, a 3-0. There it is. Yeah, that's it. We'll show it a little later. Show it a little later. Um, oh, I'm going to look at this. That might be my favorite thing. <laughs> no worries on the terrible joke said prior on Punisher. $20 super chat shots? Oh, cool. Good lord. <laughs> Someone asked about $20 super chat shots. We're not doing that. Yeah. Y'all don't even know what I went through last night. Uh, Danny, yes, that was Rick, the 3-0. Yes. Rick. Yes. And it looks incredible. It, it, yeah, even the zipper works. This is my... Uh... The NXT Women's Championship belt. That's my favorite thing I picked. That is awesome. That, yeah, that's definitely it. That's <laughs> plausible. You love my sweater? Yo. Yeah, those, I saw awesome. this man live and in... Color? You had a great weekend. Dude, this, this, I mean, I miss Karina, I'm not gonna lie. Like, 20, I wish she was. Like 25 bucks or something like that? I wish she was here. What? I got 22. Yeah, I got, I need to get cash too or something. I don't know. Come on, shoot. If I have something left. Come on, I think I have a couple dollars. Between? Um, but I miss Karina a lot. No I doubt. The oh, Jesus. Are, the we, are they still out there? Oh, what the hell are they doing? Um, but I saw Logic on Thursday night and then drove down here Friday morning, hung out with. These guys uh, for most of the day, and then, then Brian came in. <laughs> Greg's a twenty dollars hot wing soft shots. No, bro. Wait, twenty dollars is all you're gonna give up? <laughs> oh man, Logic, yo, it's Bobby Biceps now. Logic is so as he makes me want to shave my head and start going to the gym. <laughs> How hard is it to find any Marvel Legends Scarlet Spider? Uh, it's getting pretty tough now. Like the one with the hood or whatever. Really? Well, that one's one fifty nine, so. I don't Might know. get eBay. That's true. That's what I would do. Three ten. I mean, honest. Well, where? You already know. Uh, hey, Josh. Ray Park is going to be a Mexican. Yeah, Ray Park is going to be, and um, unfortunately, I did not get um, the autograph that I was supposed to get from my man Aaron. And he's gonna try to get Ray Park's autograph for me, which I already feel horrible about. It literally is like the dampener, 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 dampener of the show. Yeah, that works. Is that weird? Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Um, because damn, Jeremy Bullock closed his line three hours before the show was over. So um, that kind of sucks. Poor guy. Literally, it, it it was sad to watch him sign because his wife had the point to where he had to start signing his name, and it was like super slow, like. People were actually complaining about how slow the line was going because of Jeremy Bullock. Like he's getting to that age where it's like, that's all he's done in his life is cons. <laughs> Aaron said, shut your mouth, I got you. You're the homie, bro, for real. Uh, you guys read Ver the late the late comics? Bro, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Uh, who's the Spoonie, Josh or Big Dub? Well, it's uh, thankfully, we um, have separate rooms. Yeah, yeah. So, so we don't have to worry about that. They're now setting on fire. They're setting on fire. They moved like over there, and they're setting on fire. I mean, like, so. have a fan meet at toy department on Sunday is the only day I have off any week. Um, honestly, I actually said that to James. I was like, man, we're gonna have to have a little mini meet up here because it'd be cool. It would honestly be cool. If the toy department was cool enough with it to where if we had that sort of a meetup where they would give people who came like a 10 percent discount for that day yeah. i'm sure they would yeah something. james james work something out i'm gonna, I'm gonna eventually i will talk to uh the good people at the toy department and see if they'd ever be down um something like that that parking was very interesting took 30 minutes we got there at 11. um yeah, we were right in there. Yeah, we were at the Holiday yeah, Inn parking yeah. lot. Yeah, so I mean, it worked out pretty good. Um, okay, my computer. Yo, Nick, yeah, our big. parking wasn't big? an issue at all. Like yeah. it was, that was great. Yeah, it wasn't. It was better than we last year. We never waited for anything. Yeah, yeah a lot better than last year. Uh, Kiwi Clarks, dude, you should have hit James up to host a meetup and have the biggest live stream there. I mean, 
I, one of my biggest live streams has been from there. It was, I think I had like 150 people on, and it was just like a random Saturday. So, I'm cool with that. Um, Josh, did you get anything on Intruders last day? No, I didn't, man, unfortunately. Uh, since he did not come, neither did Billy, unfortunately. If, I mean, if they would have came, they would be here. No, Nick Spix, I'm good for a little while. <laughs> did you laugh for them? Yeah. Why? I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying. Yeah. Like, that's what, sorry. I did not mean for that to be a smart-ass comment. Monthly Google Hangout mega stream with the Cine family. Each person could review or showcase something out of their top pick month. Plus, shoot the shit. Yeah, dude. Um, I wish I knew how to work Hangouts better. I mean, I can't so hard. Yeah, it's just... I don't know. I wish it's, I had a better It's, it's re literally like one time doing it. BJ, thank you, brother. I am super excited that I uh, was Ooh, able to podcast. acquire that. Yeah, Dude, I've been talking to Cincy and Billy about doing podcasts. There's, there's not enough <laughs> podcasts for our hobby. Are you going to Atlanta Comic Con? I haven't decided yet. Who he, asked? he might be, Jetta. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't uh, He decided. actually lives in like yeah. Atlanta area. ATLians. Sent you a text. I'll be sending you a couple comments when you get. Damn, Aaron, bro. Where is IP at? It's easy, bro. I was using two cams for my live streams this week. Dude, that's crazy. I literally, I am so technology dumb. I'm using my phone right now. Like, I tried using my computer. I even bought a webcam, and everyone was like, oh, it looks like you're on Skype. I don't like this. So, apparently my phone is the way to go. I don't know. It looks good. What's it? What's it? in the flesh. You guys got to do the podcast. Nate, yo, I'm seriously. I'm, you know, I have this one called Travel Nerd. Ah, what's that? That I've never. Yeah, I don't know that. Danny, I don't, I don't know, dude. It was like some like Logitech. It was like a fifty dollars webcam. Okay. I think it went and like it, it, it recorded yeah. or streamed in like ten eighty p. But Artemis and those guys, they do, yeah. guys, they do a podcast, but they don't. They only do it on Thor said chats and hangouts and, and, and stream it live on YouTube. They don't actually publish it as a podcast because mm -hmm. then you got to start a hosting fees. Yeah. yeah. What's up, Thor? How's it going, dude? I really feel like it. it it could work because mm -hmm. there's not really many serious like collecting podcasts out right now. I think so. I mean, I think it absolutely could. That'd be cool. Like the, there's like two. There was called the Cargo Hold, and then Yak Face did one. Oh wait, that might be the same one. Uh, the Realm. The po something the Realm. There's two podcasts that I used to listen to. It was all about like Star Wars action figure collecting, uh, and they just stopped doing it out of nowhere. So I was like, well, damn. It was kind of whatever. David Patrick, what's up, brother? Big fan Uh Thanks for finding the Punisher Mezco for me. Yeah, no problem, dude. Uh, I, he got it, though. <laughs> it's crazy, because we were actually just talking about that, because this dude now has 56 Mezcos. I only need three. Yeah. And technically, they had one that you needed at Comics and Games, right? That Dark Knight one, or no? No, I have those. Oh, you do? Okay. I only need classic Punisher, Green Skull, Very recent deluxe Joker, the long coat Joker. Yeah. Damn, people flipped out about that Joker. Somebody has one, any of those three, <laughs> and they want to trade retail price for retail price. I have a certain extra one that everyone wants coming that I would trade retail <laughs> price for retail price. Yeah, yeah that's that. When that Punisher, it's gonna go crazy. Yeah, the internet, well, the community is gonna freak mm -hmm. out. Billy, you know what autographs I got? I got zero. I got shit, man. Because they were, they were run horribly. You should here. tell them the story about your ticket. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we get, to, we get to this damn place. And <laughs> there's a... There, yeah. The, honestly, the dumbest, like, get up that I've ever seen a con have. So we walk in. As we're walking in, it says, oh, get your autograph tickets here. So I'm like, okay, well, obviously, I, if this is before we get to the, the, whatever, the hall, whatever it's called... I need to buy an autograph ticket. So I go pay $93 for Ian McDermott's autograph. I'm like, cool, I have this secured. They are not selling Jeremy Bullock's for some reason. So I was like, okay. She was like, you pay for that at the table. Cool. It was like only a certain few people. Yeah, there's like a very like small limited amount of who you buy, like photo ops, autographs, all this. So I go to Ian McDermott's line. Well, this person doesn't get here till 11 o'clock. So I'm like, all right. There's like no one in line. I tell these guys, I was like, I'll come back close to 11 and get in line. Well, we get there, like 11. The line is Buku. Jeremy Bullock wasn't there yet. He was in a costume photo op thing. 
So I go to this autograph line like probably five or six times, literally. And I end up standing in line for like 20 minutes. And the line is not moving for Ian McDermott because I was like, I have this ticket. I'm going to get his autograph. And I'm talking to the guys in front of me. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to sell my ticket. They're like, how much? I'm like, 50 bucks. So the dude's like, I will take that. That's a steal. And then he ends up giving me 60 because it was such a good deal. So I lost out on $33 for the ticket and a headache. Um, but I, I honestly, I don't know if I'll ever try to get an autograph at a con. Yeah. Besides Mark Hamill, yeah. I will wait in line for that one. If you happen to uh, stop listening when he said costume photo op, just word to the wise. Yeah. Only waist up. Yeah. Waist up. Yeah. No, Billy, I didn't get any autographs, dude. People were waiting in line no Johnson. for like three. <laughs> It was like three and a half hours just for Jeremy Bullock's. So if I would have waited in line for that and Ian McDermott's, I would have not shopped at all today. Like, I would have been there just for two autographs. So, yeah. It was bad, dude. It was... They... At random times, they were uh, closing the lines off. Like, me and Brian, like, walked up to one. They are like, every autograph line is closed off. There's too many people over here. So they weren't letting anybody get in. And if... The, if whoever went to a photo op, they would shut the line off. They wouldn't let anybody jump in line and wait for them. They had to be at the table for you to, to get in line. So, I don't know. Yeah, they need to work that That was that. horrible. They got their vendors now. Like, yeah. Their vendors are fantastic. Yeah, so but, and maybe good. it was they forecasted like who was going to be popular wrong. Yeah, because if you uh, think about how much more room like all the wrestlers had on that other side, there was yeah, so much more space, empty. and yeah. it was empty. Yeah, but it had the lines from the other side been there, it would have been at least breathable. Like yeah. you could see what you were doing yeah. better. Yeah, I mean, three stars from Star Wars, and he had Backstreet Boys all in the same aisle. Yeah, like that. Like, it was just that's why. And then just, the the other side of the convention dead. Yep. Like I mean, where the, the other autographs were. horsemen were there, but yeah, really dead. It wasn't. It wasn't. Not a lot of interest in the mm-hmm. No, unfortunately. But anyways, enough negative talk. It was a damn good con, though. So we got some good, great great stuff. It was great. That, I mean, you could tell how good it was considering that we spent 90, to, 90 minutes to two hours trying to wait in line, coming back, trying to wait in line. We Probably were there. 20% of our time, and that didn't really even yeah. impact it. No. Right. We were there from 9 o'clock to 5. Yeah. We, uh... Yeah. We did a full shift. Full day's work. Yeah, we only like left for lunch. Work. We didn't I work. felt like I did like more than just a full day. He uh he has a step counter and it we clocked that around like seven and a half miles that we walked today. Honestly. That is because we did actually walk to Madagascar. <laughs> yeah, I mean we walked. Yeah. It was worth it though. It we good. walked. We walked to lunch. Delicious. Oh yeah, not <laughs> And that alley was awesome. That was yeah. super cool. I yeah. That. I mean, had that that like original Ninja Turtles That's comic drawing. It was so, so good. cool. Um. Check out our Instagrams for that. Yeah, Shannon's plug. Yeah, Foxy for real. Um, okay, so, oh God, I'm gonna open this so bad, but I'm not taking all this shit out to put back in the box. So I'm gonna go over my uh, hauls real quick. This is the Rogue One Hot Toys Vader. This is the Homecoming Spider-Man Deluxe. Uh, yeah, might as well. Not people have seen it, whatever. So it comes with everything, unmasked head sculpt. And then we have the Sideshow Exclusives uh, C-3PO, which I, didn't I unbox him last night on your stream? Yeah, yeah, yeah I did. That's well. yeah. I don't remember this one. Yeah. And with that, the price you have on that is crazy yeah. compared, we, every, we saw it three times today, mm-hmm. all like 250 I got this from Toy Department, as you guys know. Um, I got it for 150 and it was open. I took it out, everything's fine, the lights work and everything. And um, yeah, like he said, we saw it for no less than like 230 so even if it was brand new, eighty dollars off, I'll take that any day. Yeah. And then um, I got the sideshow. Karina actually bought this for me, so I know you're not watching because you're. I think you're watching fireworks with the kids right now. But I love you. Thank you for this. Um, it's the R two D two. Comes with the the Leia hologram table and then the snack bar tray thing from Jabba's barge and all that cool stuff. So once hopefully I get Jedi Luke, um, this will go cool with it. And then the uh, 3PO, I think I will display with the Hoth Leia whenever I get her. Um, and you guys already saw this, but Lord of the Rings figure. Then shout out to Andrew. Got this for Karina because she is actually reading Spider Gwen once again, thanks to this guy. Um, he hooked her up with the full run, right? 
Uh, a lot of Spider Gwen, full run of Gwen Pool, some Supergirl. I think the first several trades. Spider yeah, you, yeah. I mean, and the, the Spider Women, like, crossover. Yeah, Spider and Gwen. the Supergirl, the rebirth. That's that. a good book. Yeah, I'm going to read that one. That looks cool. And then I got these three for her at um, FYE. Oh, that scared me for me. Yeah, I was like, yo, <laughs> like those world, what's, what's going on right now? You grab that green bag? So, yeah, this is pretty, yeah, grab that green bag. Grab green so this bag. is pretty much it. Um, green bag with Tennessee bag? That is the protect yourself bag. Yeah. 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 Um, Tennessee, yeah. Ryan Blue Tiny said, I just got that Sideshow Deluxe R2 this week to go with my, yo, that's, that's a good idea. Oh, yeah. You want it? Uh, yeah, it's fresh. Uh, and then, honestly, might be one of my favorite pickups. It's like top two. It, it rivals one of these Hot Toys, but issue number three, Venom. If you guys know comics, you already know what this is. I'm not going to explain it. I just am in love with that. Um, so, I want to turn it over to the homies. Cody, you want to go since? Yeah, I just want to address the other I just followed you on Instagram. Yeah. I just what? Pause. We are mad at you. You just followed me on Instagram today. How long have you been friends with me? I looked for your story. I thought I was following you. Because oh. when you all had the bachelor party, I was like, why can't I see this bear? Why don't I see this story? But I never thought. <laughs> the bear, that was scary. I never thought about, like, you just get it together for me not following yeah. you. But. So Cody's going to get together his haul, and then um, we'll save the best for last. Honestly, so I figure it'd be cool um, on the stream for all of you guys to see what they got. If I Obviously, get my watch their watch their videos. What? If I get my words out. Yeah. Watch them, Foxy. Bear. This is yesterday. Last night on. Oh, the friend box, bro. It's, it's in, in my trunk. trunk. Yeah. yeah, we gotta get that. Yeah. Holy shit. So Special I have something treat. on box. That's yeah. Exciting. Completely forgot about that. Because um, I said. I don't know why this reminds me. Excited for a new um, live friend box. Friend box yeah. But That's I got great. this for Cody just because, um, and then he unboxed this select uh, Juggernaut. Yeah, this so this thing is dope. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, really that's a good is. figure. It's heavy too. So yeah, that could work like the green bag. So let's check. Sure. Everybody, out. give a warm welcome to Foxy for real. I feel like I should be like, oh, 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 thank you guys, thank you. Oh. There's actually everyone's actually clapping right now. Are we really? How many people's on there? Hundred and hundred and twelve people. First of all, what's going on, guys? I am Foxy Fogg. Uh Anyway, so today was a dope day. Um, I can't, I couldn't ask for it in any better day. So what's up, David Patrick? Uh, clapping. We ready to grill. Standing ovation for Foxy. Well, thank you, man. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and break into it first. <laughs> Um, <laughs> you good? Yeah. Just like the go pump that kid. You, you good? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I don't know if I, sh I think I showed this last night, I'm pretty sure, but I got this dude at Comic Exchange. Uh, me and Josh and Brooklyn went there uh, yesterday, and I picked him up. Uh, and we got this at a local mall. Um, and this is at FYE. I got this, these two guys. I'm really excited for those. Uh, but for the con, I picked up Jana Solo. The camera's over here on this phone. Wow. I got this for $17. Shout out to Andrew Gearhart for pressuring me into buying this. Just kidding. Uh, but no, $17 for this was a really good deal. I've only really saw it at $28. Uh, so I'm glad to have Jaina. Uh, let's see. And then I got this guy right here. It's a little bit up here. Yeah, it should be. Fireworks. Fireworks, yeah. So I got Noob, Cybot, and Cybot. Yeah, sure. I got Noob. Um, really dope Mortal Kombat character. I want to end up get. I want to get the rest of the ninja... Uh, figures, even Shao Kahn and um, Goro coming out. Uh, Jedi Patrol just donated you four ninety nine. Something to help with those hot toys. Yo, Ryan, thank you, brother. <laughs> it's actually these are gonna that's gonna go toward the detail. But yes, you're right because that does contribute to hot toys. That's true, man. Yeah. Thank you, Ryan. Yeah. So this is a special edition. It is the bloody edition, um, and I'm really excited to pose this with my Scorpion. So I don't know if that's in the frame. I, I wish that's you could have could have made the trip up with Greg, dude. Well, not with Greg, but. Since Greg came up, I wish you could have came too, dude. And then one of my bigger purchases of the day is this bad boy right here, the uh, black suit Spider-Man. I unbox this on my new on my video that's going to be coming out for Fanboy Expo, and the webbing effects on this just look so cool. <laughs> Iron Patriots, I take that shirt off, boy. <laughs> uh, so yeah. <laughs> We checked the stitching and everything, all the bad quality control issues that are being told about this figure, and this is actually a really, really good piece. So, 
since it's my stream, will you open that? Because I want people to see okay. it. Yeah. So you guys just saw this. Um, and first of all, just shout out to me, bro. Hold on, pause real quick. What's going on? There we go. Because it's like dark or whatever. What? What's happening? There you go. Okay. Yeah, my bad. All right. Anyway. <laughs> it's so you mean to like open and take it out? On, yeah, yeah. Open and take it out? Yeah, I, I want you to show him because so, I'm actually so impressed with that figure. There we go. So, there is Rick Grimes. This is the three zero figure. It's my first quarter scale figure. Um, besides the turtles, besides the turtles, hmm? turtles count. Quarter scale. Yeah. Quarter scale. Six That's scale. Six scale. Are different. Yeah, six scale. Yeah. What am I saying? My bad. That's your first six scale, right? Yes, yeah. my first six scale. Hey, uh, that blue pill Heisenberg. Hey, I got you, man. Trust me. So the accessories are here. We got the AK-47, a strap with the AK-47, and a few different hand uh, molds there. And this guy's so dope. Big Andy. He the head. Honestly, the head sculpt is what sets yeah, it off. Me. Yeah. So there is good. Rick Grimes right there, three zero. I love this from like. It looks so freaking good too. Book. It comes with the red handled machete, there, right there, cosplay. and it also <laughs> comes with his revolver. Oh, so really? Very, very nice figure. Oh, nice so, that is awesome. honestly, this yeah, I can't believe I got this. To be honest with you, I've looked at this how many times since we've been. He actually, fun fact, the first time he was in Ohio, we went to Comics and Games, and he passed on that, right? No, that was Jon Snow. I oh. passed on Columbus Toy Shows when I passed on this. Monumental. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know. I know. Listen, if there's a figure you want, invite Big Dog. <laughs> You'll end up with it. Or, yeah. or just message him. He's like our life coach he is, now. He's he has the best advice. Our life coach. So if I'm ever in like an indecisive moment, I'm just gonna call him. Just straight up. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. <laughs> All right, that is my haul for fanboy guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Only haul. You good? You already went through everything. Okay. Yeah, I did. Yeah, true. I did it quick. I don't know why, but we can open up something. Like, well, yeah, no, I just. I, I forgot about that. Opening up that new. How much in total did we spend? We will talk about that. Seventy-eight dollars. Seventy-eight. Yeah. So. I'm so curious about what we spent. I know, man. Cause look at it. Look at all we got. Because then the next question is, Oh, you're rich. Yeah, yeah, that's true. We should take a picture of all of our stuff. That's yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so Brian, you ready to do yeah, it? Yeah, man. I'm ready. You can Let's get it set up. slide my stuff around. Yes, yeah, slide, slip and slide. Uh, yeah, we can start moving it over here for the picture. Okay. Yeah. So I'll move it over here. Let's see. Yeah. Open up the Hellboy Pops Foxy. Uh, I'll do that and post that on Instagram. You can follow me at Foxy for Real. Those will be on there tonight. Big job. Coming through. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So, yeah, we spent a total of $78 on everything we spent today. Um, just gotta know how to work the system. Yeah, right? man, we wheeled and dealed. That's not including any services we may have exchanged. Oh man, I don't know about that. Autographs. <laughs> oh yeah, we we signed stuff. Yeah. So, pretty cool fig. There's yeah, other so. forms of currency besides the U.S. dollar. <laughs> yeah, that's, there's uh, Bitcoin. Right. That's true. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, that's, that's got some that's money. The special. Uh, got some money. That's the special. Keep it going, keep it going. Brian, Hello. Go How are you doing? What's going on, brother? What's, What's up, man? So let's see. More like 7,800. Oh, yeah, man. Say hello. 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 Pizza guys. Where's the water? Dollars. Thank you. Dollars. Hey, Brian. Hey, Brian. Hey, Brian. Hey, Brian. Hey, Brian. Greetings from Denmark. What's up, man? Hey, Fox, you just opened up my Jane figure, and I will say you will be totally happy with the purchase. I pressured you into getting it. Yeah, man. Thank you. I, I don't want anything to fall out. That'd be I'm sad. super yeah. excited for this. So yes, we actually yeah. should I show them? What? The transaction. Oh, oh my bad. You get you get. So there we go, guys. There's a transaction going on. Is there a pizza going on? We got some pizza. Like some good pizza. Five boxes. Five boxes. Five boxes. Oh, those are wings. Oh, oh we had wings, wings too? Nice. Yeah, we had to, man. I don't want wings so bad. Super chat! There you go. You said... Nothing about this. Oh, man. Jesus. One for each of us. Yeah. So we got a lot. We got quite a bit of food. All right, here, let me do my deal. Yeah. Oh, my All right, so let's see. Ouch. Bet money, I can I can IP. Make, it might take a minute. Let's see. Pizza Boys. You got 123 people in here, my man. What's up to the 123 people? I appreciate you stopping by for the weekly Saturday night streams. 
No matter where we're at, we're going to do it. Mike B wants to know what's Brian's Instagram and slash Twitter contact info. Um, Big Dub on uh, YouTube. You can dump it in the thing, right? And I think Big Dub's. Yeah, Josh is about to post the Instagram link for Big uh, Big Dub. Go give him a follow there, and he's also on YouTube as well. Big so. Dub sixty. Big Dub sixty. Yeah, at Big Dub. D U B sixty. There you go. All right, it's Big good. Big Dub Big Hall coming through. You good? You ready? I'm ready. All right, man. Let's do this. I'm gonna go this way. Yep. That's where the pizza is. It is where it is. All right. So we started the day with some wrestlers. I got the page. Page has uh, I like to get all the belts. I'm trying to get them all, the elite belts with the women's NXT and the Divas title. Depending on the level of internet searching you do in your life, you will also know why it's kind of funny to have the uh, NXT women's title with Paige. Back to you, Bob. Back to you, Bob. Uh, I got the first elite Braun Strowman with the black sheet mask. Excellent. Come Josh's buck coming through. And then, uh, as is fitting for the uh, the recent rest in peace, I got the uh, Big Van Vader with the elephant mask. Question: Do you think the price was on him because he passed away, or was that no? He's price? been expensive. And, I, and okay. so these were. Um, I ended up paying twenty three dollars each, which is uh, basically retail. Yeah. I mean, they were stickered at like a hundred total. Yeah, it was fifty. Yeah, that guy, that that guy was ready to move. That is that is super awesome. So if you uh, check the Instagram, probably every figure I own that can wear this will wear this at some point. But the Vader, rest in peace to Big Leon. So those are the loose figures I got. The ice box. Yeah. Like a cube of ice? We forgot One more time. Then I picked up uh, Metroid Prime 3 Corruption, a Figma Samus, nice. a Rand figure. If you don't, uh, like, I don't know, a lot of our uh, friends don't, don't do Figma, but uh, so they're incredibly articulated. They got a lot of good Nintendo characters. So picked up the Figma. Beast Kingdom Egg Attack, Iron Man Mark 46. I did. From uh, Civil War. The Egg Attacks are very cool. Uh, if Can you post a direct video in the thing when you do it? it? When Josh gets a chance, if you can. I have a pretty significant Iron Man collection that I have a video for. So I needed this to add to my Iron Man. I have Iron Man has a Hall of Armor. I have the Hall of, Hall of Armors. That's what I have. So, did you see? There's that. Matthew, did you see at that uh, that place at the mall how they, he had all the SH figures with where like, where the armor sits in like the? Yes, I have that. You have all that? I have all that they released. They released four of them so far. All right. So then we'll move into. Uh, so Foxy got the Rick Grimes. I picked up the Michonne, three zero six scale figure. I have the Rick already and the Negan. I'll probably get the Daryl soon. I thought about getting, uh, they had her pets, but it was at that booth we were talking about that scalped, and it, they had them for like $400. And there's like 100 Ebays that are like 210 So I wasn't going to do that, even though I want them. So uh, that, that will go. I also, from 3 0, I also have the Daenerys, and I have Heisenberg. So that's kind of. Interesting shelf. Now this item, I have never seen before. This is my first 3A figure, six scale figure. Mm -hmm. And it is the 3A Doctor Doom Classic Edition. And I will, let me see if I can take him out. Kind of take him out. Or at least, uh, oh yeah, he can come out. So 3A's take on things is very different. Doctor Doom. He's awesome. Uh, this was part of our negotiation to get uh, Vader, to get a free Venom number three. Uh, $78 Venom number three. You can say free, sorry. And this 
So that's a pickup. And you've never seen this before. I'd never right? seen it before, no. Yeah, right. I just opened it and I was like, well, that's got to go on the shelf. All right, so then another part of that Venom number three for $78. We got this two pack Pepper Potts, Iron Man Mark IX, Hot Toy from Iron Man 3. Let's see how much is visible if I slip that off. I have quite a few Iron Men, as I just said. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's quality. So check that out. It has the arm where you can switch uh, Pepper's arm. Stark Industries. That's a great set. Uh, so that was, again, that was the, that was kind of the, the wheel and deal we did on that, which worked out to our advantage significantly. And then my final pickup of my little haul today. Not ready for this. Oh, is the uh, I just got a Mezco. That's yeah. <laughs> a ten. It's like you know Arsenal maybe. So it is the uh, PX exclusive Mezco Punisher. I think it's called the fully loaded edition. I think juicy. We got just like endless weapons. Let's just go ahead. Let's just go ahead. Slip him out a little bit. Just give him a little touch. Stuff. I'm losing it right now, guys. Just so you know. Dude. So that was a uh, very exciting pickup. Just look at I mean, the I know, look at all those weapons. And there's a whole other tray yeah, underneath him. I wonder if I can uh, get it. I don't remember how it's connected. So I, uh, there are only three, no, that's not true. Three commercially released single, single figure Mezco that I do not have. Green Skull from Comic-Con, the recent Mezco exclusive Joker, and Classic Punisher. Those are the ones I do not have. I also don't have the two Lawmasters. So there's just, I mean, just look at all the, all the action in there. And the harness. That's a, uh. Harness, they get the blast effects, the red vest, got that coat down there. How much was that when it first came out? I think it was like one twenty five. It was not yeah, but it was it was an expensive retail one. Yeah, yeah. that was I mean But as any of you that are uh That is worth the seventy eight dollars. What? That was worth, that was worth the seventy eight dollars. Any of you that are Mezco fans know that this is uh crazy. These the, this and the classic Punisher just hover in the six to seven hundred dollar range often, which is stupid. Anyway, that was my haul. We did really good. We can uh, open some of this up and play with it later. I'm going to turn it back over to Mr. Pence. I mean, he, you know, he's sick. Let's just way around that. There it is for you. For your viewing pleasure. For her pleasure. <laughs> so, what did they all think about those hauls? Yeah, what did you guys think about that? That was insane. 78 oh, bucks. Yep, $78 well spent. It's amazing. Um, follow all of our Instagrams. We're going to take a picture of all of our, our whole hauls and we'll post them. Just because it's uh, one of those epic... Uh, fill up the bed haul. Yeah, literally. It's I think insane. Yeah, go fill it up. Yeah, it's, uh, it was pretty fun. Josh, are you going to delete this stream after it ends? Uh, no. I don't, honestly, I don't delete the streams until I upload a new video. <clears throat> because of how YouTube works. Um... I want people to actually see my videos, not my live streams and the recommended, if that makes any sense. Because like when, when the video ends, it will show the, the whoever the user or the, the watcher, my last uploaded video. And typically I upload videos on Mondays and my last upload would be Saturday. So I always like unlist them by like Monday, um, just because I don't want to flood my channel with live streams. Cause I technically, I do more live streams than I do videos. Korean in here. Yeah. Hi, What's Karina. up, baby? Everybody, everybody say hi to Karina. Hello, Karina. Hi, Karina. We miss you, babe. A lot. Yeah. Yeah, we miss you lots. Lots and lots and lots. <laughs> IP don donated two bucks and said, boy, big boy, come back here so you can catch these hands. I got Braun over there. He's, 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 man. he's trash. That's what's wrong. But IP love. But he did that last night too. Well, I mean, he might just be drinking a little bit. 
Damn, Karina literally just says, hey, guys. She doesn't even say hi to me. I see how it is. No emotion. I say hi, babe. I say I miss you. Nothing. Zero. Nada. Um, pizza ain't strong. Yeah, that pizza smells good. Good lord. Brooklyn, you're about to take over to my Just kidding. Not gonna happen. <coughs> Cody will. We'll switch, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. I put hearts to you, did you? I didn't see that. I'm sorry. Oh, yes, you did. My bad. I love you. I miss you. That um, was to all of you out there. Yeah, specifically Karina, but I do love all you guys, but I love Karina more. Sorry. She hates you. Yo, yo, DM me if you got a problem, bro. What's going on? <laughs> I don't even think Karina's seen everything that I got. Um, I did get her four pops, though. And technically, we're not still... I mean, we're not done. I mean, we'll, we'll probably go at least somewhere tomorrow. Maybe... To a Target or something. I don't know. Yeah, there's a Target we never went to. There's uh, no other comic shops here besides Comic Exchange, correct? Can we, we might even we might, might even fuck around and go back to Fanboy tomorrow. After one, it's after one. Just kidding. I can't go after one. That's way too late. I gotta get. I gotta get home. Josh uh, just opened my Terminator and it's awesome. Good, Andrew. I'm glad you enjoyed, brother. Uh, like I said, man, if you open them, I think you looked a lot better than the the other one. Plus, he's glow in the dark and whatever. So, I hope you enjoy it. Where's my beer? Um, it's over by my pizza. Over there. Shout out to Bobby Tarantino. I know you're watching the stream right now, bro. Even though you're on stage right now, but still, gotcha, bro. He's the homie. He looked at me, bro. He's he, best he's friends. Eye contact. Home. Yeah, I, I'm I, better friends. I don't know about eye contact. He's better friends but, than you and me, then. That's true. But he did, he, he directly talked to the person that was right, literally right next to me. Was that Karina? No. If, I mean, I would let him talk to Karina. He could holler at her. I wouldn't mind. Oh my god. Well, what? Logic, bro. I mean, if he pulled her up on stage and like had, like had a rap or a rap to her or something, I'd be like, yo, go baby. Go, get us backstage. Let's do it. I mean, not like that, but I mean, let's go backstage. It'd be dope. I'd be all about it. But, um... I P uh, I P Cody wants you. Never mind. Yeah, Taste it. Yeah. Um, so what did you guys pick up this weekend? It's Saturday. So what have you guys picked up so far? That's the main thing. I want to know what you guys got because obviously all of us got some great things. Um, what did you get for your seventy eight dollars? Yeah. Nothing. I got this Jane Solo. I want to know what the sticker is under it. Can I peel yeah, it? Yeah, go for it. Because you're gonna open it anyway, right? Yeah. I never saw that. Nate Simmons got two cases. Of, he did say that last night on your stream. Yeah. Nate, I, uh, I have obviously I've watched your video because it's uh, I've been busy all day, but I did see my man use them as a thumbnail, so I'm excited for that. Can't wait. I want to pick up the Mexico Cyclops. Well, man, when it comes out, I'm definitely getting it. There ain't no doubt about that. Well, they just shown that right That's all the time. Yeah, and cable. People were really thinking that it was going to be the. Uh, what, what the Punisher was, that SDCC one? Well, what, if, what was it, Punisher and Batman? No, I mean, Batman Beyond. It was two reuse. Cable's a brand new. Well, people were thinking that uh, Cyclops was going to be the summer exclusive just because of the hype. Oh, but what I'm saying is, they're, think about what their exclusives always are. They're always reuse of the body. Are they? I, I, I've only been collecting this. X Men, X -Men Deadpool. It's true. Headpool, Deadpool. Yeah. Red Skull, Green Skull, Red Skull, the That's Punisher. The, I mean, the, the Punisher is just adding the mask and taking a bunch of parts from all the other Punishers. Yeah. And yeah, then uh, the that Batman is Beyond is just a... I, I, I bet it's that black suit Spider-Man body. With just a new head like a new head yeah. yeah. They always true. reuse it. I, I, I really just think about how long it takes them to make their new stuff. Yeah, they always true. miss it, but then magically they can announce something and have it two weeks later. Yeah. That Punisher came out of nowhere. They never, like, announced that at all, did they? Mm -hmm. Neither did the Batman Beyond. That's I true. Mean, they... Yeah. Not that I saw. Danny picked up the Hot Toys Gladiator Thor. Yeah, dude, it looks amazing. Yes. Um, the Thor 2941 is going to have a review of the Marvel Legends thing uh, coming this Friday. So in, what, six days, I guess? Yeah. I haven't seen that or Silver Surfer near me. No. I think he he got it hooked up from like someone overseas, I believe. I think. Dude, they marked it down from 20 twice to 17. I mean, that's still a good deal, but I thought it was going to be like 30 bucks. Or, 
something. So that was, that was oh boy. What? Oh man. Zach. Donation, I see Yeah, Zach hits it with the 20. He says, hey, what up, Jay Pence, the make crib drops this week, so I'm going to give me a bunch of those. Is that Zach from Spirit Toys? Yeah, that's Zach from Spirit Toys. Zach, Just kidding. Shout out to Spiro. Yeah, shout out to Zach. From, only, only you guys who watched my birthday last stream would understand that. But, bro, Zach, thank you, brother. I, he starts laughing. <laughs> and honestly, shout out to Zach because he hit me up after the Punisher dropped and made sure I got one. Because he actually uh, ordered one for me just in case, in case I missed it. So, Zach, thank you, brother. I very much appreciate it. God, this pizza smells so good. Mm. <laughs> I piece that unmock Fox. I quit. <laughs> It'll be all right. Um, but, and in case you guys don't know, Spiro Toys, S P E R O Toys. Look them up on Instagram, yeah. Facebook. They're doing a Kickstarter right now. Of beautiful okay. figures. We so. need that elephant and that hippopotamus. I want that water bison. Water, yeah. Yeah. Those stretch goals. Dope. We need them. And the elephant. That kind of reminds me of the Mythic Legions. What they did like on their first run. Yeah. You never went so. back to that troll. In the other one. Oh, Dude, they did have that troll. Yeah. You never went back to that. No, I didn't. I will. Oh, or Red Hulk. You got some stuff. Yeah. Does that. anybody have the Marvel Select Red Hulk? Not the Legends, but the Select. Nope. Because that's one that I wanted. What am I looking at? Those are like specialty chicken bites, like their wings. Oh, that's Josh, just eat yeah. on stream, bro. It's all good. Oh, no, dude. Ah, man. I mean, I, I got, like buffalo I got a lot of content bread. creators in the room. So I'm going to let the, the homies chill, talk with you guys, hang out. It's kind of like when Karina hops on stream. Well, a lot of, there's a lot of people like Karina a lot more than me. That's for sure. It's been definitely uh, announced very much in the stream. I was like you when Karina, like, when we switched spots and I'm back on the stream, IP's the first one to say, bring back Karina, we don't, we don't want to yeah. see this guy anymore. I think he has, like, a, a whole, like, list of automated things he yeah. says, because he's so quick on it, too. Yeah, he is. He has them copy and pasted in his yeah, list. Yeah, yeah. For sure. So, IP's like, I don't want to see this guy anymore. Yeah. Like, I don't want to see this guy anymore. Yeah. For sure. So, I, I IP shout out. He clicks with honey. Like, uh, Josh, want to send me that yeah. Hot Toys Hawkbuster for my birthday? You know, brother, you know, if... Shipping would be too much, so I'm sorry, man. I just don't think I could swing the shipping. If it would have still been there when I walked back, I was going to buy it. What's that? The 1200 one, or whatever it was, 13. I was going to it. Because I looked online, I mean, that's a good price. I walked over to the, the other places, 1800 I'm like, oh, it's a really good price. Yeah. Turned around and walked back, it says sold. Someone was, was looking like, for that at the con. Like... That, that's just something that you don't walk up on and be like, yeah. oh, oh, nice, yeah. Yeah, let me, let me oh, drop. Let me just grab that. I can four dollars. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I piece of Josh. I just got hired by Nate. And I quit Foxy's channel, so if you need a new mod, I'm looking for work. God, Jesus Christ. So over dramatic. Uh, um, what's it called? Uh, Thor. He just said something about the select. God, where is it? Where's that comment at? Red Select by me, Josh, my comment guy, has one on CBC. Yeah, if he has it, let me know the price. Because the price I passed up on it today was 30 And I didn't really pass up on it. I forgot what booth it was at to go back to. <laughs> if that makes sense. So I, I don't remember I, either. I have no, no idea where that was. I, I do not at all. But that's a pretty badass looking figure. Like, yeah. after seeing your juggernaut out of box, like, not with anything else, so you can really see, like, yeah. the size of it. Select does look really good on the big figures. Yeah. So. I'm just glad I got that juggy. Um, nice juggy. I want to do more than 25 on them. Yeah, I, it was 30 out of con, so that's that's fine. Because Big Bad has them for 22. And With shipping, shipping, it'll be 30. Around, yeah. Because their ship, it's expensive for those. Yeah. You might as well just get it. There. I mean, or if someone wants to do a straight up trade of a select Juggernaut for a select Red Hawk, I will do that straight up trade. Since I great trade. Since I have them right now. Squad, um, YouTube yeah. squad. Wish I knew you needed one. I sold it for twenty. Damn, Nate. I was just too late for it, brother. There you go. I'm switching. Get that red hook in there. Oh man, that does look good. It's good. Yeah, you know, pop up. I don't want to put that on the screen. Um, diecast Mark Six or Mark Forty Six? So what was the question? A diecast Mark Six or a Mark Forty Six? Which one to get? Yeah, probably. The Mark the Mark Forty Six is the Civil War one, right? That thing is crazy expensive. Have you seen how expensive the Homecoming one is? Do you have the Homecoming Iron Man? Yeah. No. 
Have you seen what the prices are going for right I now? I almost sold it because of that. Yeah. yeah <laughs> it's like it's 700 I mean, there was a Mark 46 at the place we got a lot of stuff. and uh, Did they have one? Yeah, eight, 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 I was overwhelmed. Was Shout eight, out, eight, Comic fifty, Exchange, five. you're not listening. Oh, yeah, I do remember you pointing that out now. Comic Exchange, I know you're not watching, but you guys put on a hell of a booth. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. yeah, it was a great booth. And the gentleman that <laughs> told me that if I bought the whole Buster, it would <laughs> come to my house, cook me dinner, and cuddle with me. Yeah, that's... He guaranteed it. Um, it was an interesting yeah, sales pitch. All right, yeah. All right, Cody's taking over. You need to get some food, bro. Yeah. All right. This, uh, All right, Patrick, go take a break. This thing? <clears throat> Just joined late. So much plastic goodness at everyone's score. Yes. Um, check our Instagram. Yeah, check Instagram. It's going to take like an hour for us to get through again. Honestly, yeah. So, <laughs> Iron Patriots being a douche. Yeah. <laughs> I select, the select call is a nice big fig that has. You hate, I hate you, hate my dad. All right, cool. Iron Patriot. You just need to drink some water, bro. Iron Patriot, when I get my channel running as good as Josh and Foxy, you're hired. Open bar for you. Kill <coughs> What? That <laughs> oh, was Thor, he said that. So, yeah. <laughs> Open bar. Open bar. Let's see. The Thor thank you, but hell yeah, I need for that Colossus is so clean. I just like this juggernaut. And James says, why isn't anyone trash? Yeah, still got stuff in it. It's trash. But we'll be here. Yeah. Okay. We got food in our system now. Not drinking an empty. Well, I mean, we're drinking beer. We're just not drunk. Right? Yeah, but I'm not getting like last night drunk. Type one, if you want Foxy to take a shot. Uh oh. No, not right. Maybe. Uh -oh. How many pages just put one in the comments? Like he's spamming it. He's still. <laughs> oh, I'm, where's my cutting board, bro? Is that yours? Yeah. How much more do you got left? Yeah. Oh, Mr. Comments, my bad, my bad. I peace on you seen that Colossus for her. Hey, even Josh, come on. Peace out, Josh. Foxy broke on the Brian. I'm out. Night of Rain. Take it easy, dude. See you later. Rolla. It's a rat quit. Oh, my lord. Anyway, guys, what uh, what have you picked up this week? I need to I need to know that. I want Foxy to get as loose as a goose. Dude, I did for sure last night. So... For sure. No denying that. I'm excited to like spread all this out and fill up that bed with this stuff. Seventy-eight dollar haul? You can't beat that. Hot Toys, Ant Man, and Wasp buyer pass. Buy. Buy. Well, the Wasp. The Wasp. The Ant Man. I have the Ant Man. So it didn't cool. show the Ant Man as an unmasked head sculpt. They didn't show that. I'm sure yeah. it will, right? Yeah. The Wasp is. It may not be. I mean, the one I have doesn't have a. I don't know that either of them have it's it. It's just an uh, open helmet. Right. I don't, the Civil War, I don't think, has it. Did you go Street King? Sure. Uh, did I? Probably. I don't know. Uh, let's see. The Thor with the spinning hammer is one of Select's best. Yeah, the Disney exclusive. Disney that one's really good. So far, just groceries. Been dry out. But my scalpers are killing it. Gotta get some bear traps soon. Yeah, he said they only have an open helmet. That's, That's what I thought. Said. Uh, shout out to Jim Bizeo. He's not watching right now, but he just got that. Oh, nice. <clears throat> oh, let's see. Hey, I'm only sitting away from 200. There you go. We need, need to spam the channel again. Well, growth. Spam that. We got 111 people. So, well, where's my phone? I can't do it. They'll tell me now. Are you able to copy and paste your link? I don't think that you can paste well, the link if you're not a mom. Yeah, I got you. Let's see. So, I'm going to... Post a link real quick. He'll do it. Okay. Just, you see it? I do it. You do it. Oh, okay. okay, you're good now. Okay, yeah. So we're going to have a link in the comments here in a second. Um, and I'll show you. Yeah, we're going to get Big Dub to Tuhando tonight. So I got 110 people in here right now. Um, once this link goes live in here, make sure that you go and subscribe right now. Hey Foxy, how is the flea markets in Sevierville now? Uh, pretty much just Scalp City, man. I wouldn't mess with it, honestly. There we go, big dub right now. He's what? now a moderator. What's Scalp City? The flea markets in Sevierville. Is it right? Yeah, it's Most bad. Stuff. It's so bad. Uh, so right now, go and subscribe to Big Dub. 
make sure we get him to uh, over, not just at 200 tonight, over 200 tonight. Do that for us. I'm going to run, guys. Got to pick up my boy. Thanks for the channel. Shout out, Josh. That was Thor. Thor. Ocean no is... No problem, brother. Ocean I as the man. Five dollars. Thank you for the five dollars. Wait, that's that's a pop I'm holding. Hold on. Beer. Thank you. God. <laughs> Thank you, Thor. Rabbit Hammer said, Big Dub, I love your channel and your collection. Thanks, Rabbit. I will... Uh, so Rabbit Hammer's on me. I'll have a brand new... Uh, collection video soon like i'll probably film it next week during fourth of july i actually have not done one in a while i probably need to I'm do i'm too one. scared too <laughs> that's like a thor said brooklyn smash for minute. life you remember from lexington yeah hey, that one oh, was fireball it. fireball did that that's when we punched the thing right? been following big, big dub since the beginning I don't know why we did that. <laughs> who was that uh nate simmons oh thanks nate dude this is so dope like just messing with him even more Look at that. You want to sit down, Any Legends of Mexico real predictions for SECC? Dub sub. <laughs> oh, dub sub. Iron Patriot said, I've been following Big Dub as well. Dude's a fucking beast. <laughs> I love IP. He pulls no punches, dude. <laughs> Even though he's not my employee anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw that. Don't you? Oh man, tell Brian to pee me about the Mesco he needs. There you go. Who said that? Nate Simmons. Mm -hmm. I wonder what. Yo guys, Big Dub, if you can see this, can they see oh, that? Really right. Yeah. Well, Big Dub is at 198 subscribers, just like that. So I need two people, more than two people, <laughs> three people, go subscribe to Big Dub. Why his channel. His, his his channel is dope. I mean, he uses a drone. You can't. There's nobody in toy hunting game using a drone. Tomorrow. We can still do that tomorrow. We need to do that tomorrow. Yes. James said we should call Big Dub the freaking juggernaut. Freaking juggernaut, douche. I mean, they don't call me Little Dog. 199, guys. Let's do this. Woo! Let's do this. <laughs> oh, man. And I'm, I'm refreshing until I see that. I need one person. <coughs> I haven't been to severe 200 subscribers. Yes. Thank you all so much. Congratulations, man. Thank you. That's exciting. Let's see. Let's see. I haven't been to severe before many years now, but it was awesome through Marcus area when I was younger back in the late 90s. Yeah. Now, I don't know. Now it's all right. It's all right now. Me and Brooklyn, we went through and walked through a few weeks ago, and it was just, it wasn't much anymore. Especially like the fig boots. There's very few and far between. The fake booths? Fig? Fig booths. Fig booths. Gotcha. There's very few and far between, so. You want to do a shot to celebrate you too, Hundo? I do. Listen, it's shot. Yeah. I'm just calling it. For him too. Where's the. Where's I'm the. I'm going to put on the <laughs> Are you having a little one? Me? No. Sean, Sean's an awful female. Let's just have like a subscriber party. So apparently, we are going to do a celebratory shot. I mean, can't we so. just finish that bottle? That's not. Let's, no, we will. Let me, let me see what it looks like. We will eventually. I'm not saying we're on. No, I, I'm not pouring my own one. I don't know about this. Splash. Like a splash? Yeah, splash. Splash. Night all, congrats, Big Dub. Shots, shots. Shot of goose. Let's put that. Big Dub? Yes, sir. That, that's not that bad, right? No, that's not bad at all. Here, have some of mine. No. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. I don't want to die. No, nope. take. Empty. Oh, it's done, Ski. Okay. So cheers to Big Dub for two hours. Thank on. you all so Hold much. On. This is kind of a cheers to everybody who came out today from the Syndicate. Greg, so Greg you're out there. Hold on, we got Greg, LaVon. Andrew Gearhart. Andrew. Um, Josh. Josh. Jacob. Wade, Jacob. Josh and Jacob. Luke, Josh and Jacob. Luke, Josh Jacob. Yeah. The guy that voices Mario. Okay. <laughs> Rick Flair, if you're watching. Yeah. Yeah. Rick Flair. <laughs> and, uh, Rick Flair, super chat us if you're watching, please. Shout like out to um, five dollars that you actually have. Hold on. Shout out to Jeremy Bullock for closing his line three yeah, hours yeah, early. Yeah. Uh, Stephen Daniels. That shout guy out. Yeah, Stephen Daniels said he had cancer, so he could get the autograph after yeah, they closed I, the line. Yeah, we'll talk about that later. I'd like to thank the Academy. Yeah. Um, pretty much. Cheers to you guys. Thank you for joining the stream. I know this is probably you know whatever. But, riveting. Yeah. Here we go. Down the hatch. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. That was. A, that was. A, that brought back. Ooh. Brought back bad memories. That was. But don't say that right now. <laughs> It was like a trickle show. Oh. Oh. It's it now. Mm. 
Here, get that away. Get, yeah. Just make it, make it leave. All right. Here we go. Yeah. That was... I was filled up to the top. Of the All right. Of Got it yeah, in the class. Saw, saw Congrats the, the on the halls and the great time. A lot of changes coming to the channel soon. Looking forward to it, Nate. Who? Nate? Nate? Is that what Nate just said? That's what Nate just said. Are you ready to hop back in? Um, cheers, Greg. <laughs> Greg said hello. Cheers. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll hop in. Yeah, yeah. I, I slowly so, declined your viewers. Yeah. Peace, guys. I'll be like right um, here. I, so, I do have oh, good. I'm using it. That's fine. No, you're right. My phone dies really fast when I stream. What's up, guys? Yeah, breakfast pizza, man. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'm going to munch on a little bit more. Look, my stream is just now to where you just got that? took a shot. Really? Yeah, that's weird. Did you mess with the chicken pizza? No, dude. Only, only peepy runnies. You got a couple? It's good. Um, like, uh, someone said, what happened to the so, autographs? Pretty much, I, in a roundabout way, if I would have gotten the autographs that I wanted, I would not have been able to shop at all today. That's how crazy the lines were. So, it was just, it was very, very uh, time consuming. What the fuck is this? Oh, is that the, the ghost? The elephant thing? mask. Is this for a uh, rider? Oh, Vader. What brawn have the sheep? He's got the black sheep, bro. Well, this was black and it kind of looked like a sheep, right? A mountain goat, goat maybe? Goat. Yeah. It was black. Yeah, it was black sheep. That's trippy. He used to wear this? Yeah, we was in the Wyatt family. Oh, that's right. He yeah. was a part of that. Yeah. That's why I wanted that one. Yeah, that's cool. I like I that. Have the, I have the row and the shoe. Kyle Bishop, what's up, homie? I just gotta get a Harper. Uh, really Mike here, what's going on? He was never in the Wyatt What kind of pizza? Pepperoni and pineapple? I love that. Brooklyn actually had pineapple pizza at the brewery. At the brewery. It was good. Which was good. good. But we got Domino's. Uh, we just got a chicken pizza Man, wrong, and uh, some <laughs> pepperoni. <laughs> and we got some and, wings yeah. and things. Uh, Drain, what Mezco did you get today, dude? Tony, what's up, man? Um, Josh, why the bitch fire me? Bro, I, I'm out of this. I didn't, I didn't fire you. Quit. Sentinel Iron Man. Um, any idea when Mezco will be releasing Wonder Woman, Doctor Strange, Hulk, and Thor Ragnarok, and Tax Suit Back, man? Um, I'll go in order. I believe I've, I've read... I believe I read on um, some of the uh, Mezco Facebook groups. People are thinking that the Wonder Woman is releasing soon. Um, and I also have heard that Thor is coming by the end of July. And I think Hulk is following him in August. Uh, I Apparently you can go to some like previews. Um, what's it called? Previews uh, website and you can see them. I don't know. But... That's just what I heard. I hope Thor and Hulk drop kind of like back to back as much as my bank account probably doesn't want me to do that. Um, I hope it does because those two look beautiful. And then this guy says he has the Gladiator Hulk Hot Toys. Um, that's probably going to be released in like two or three weeks. And Would you I think, like me to read the Hot Toys I have on pre -order? I mean, if you want to. I mean, is, is anyone interested? I mean, I'm interested. All right. This is the hot toys he has on pre-order. Can you put, can stand them up? Can you stay like that? Because mine's literally just standing like a vanilla pose. Gladiator Hulk, Justice League Batman tactical suit, Wonder Woman in the training outfit from the Wonder Woman movie. I don't is that the know one why that, that's not out yet? Is that the one in like the white gown looking thing? No, like the short dress. Um, like her Amazonian. Yeah, that one. That's what I was really Walmart. trying to get at. Yondu, which will be here soon. I have the quarter scale Infinity Gauntlet coming, Aquaman, Flash, Black Widow from Infinity War, Wonder Woman, Justice League, Hella, the other Batman from Justice League, Superman from Justice League, Can you have him where Teenage Groot and Rocket from Infinity War, Black Panther from Infinity War, Thor from Infinity War, Deadpool from Deadpool 2, Neo, that Neo looks sick from The Matrix, Iron Man Marvel. Captain America, Loki, Cool in the Gang, Paul Anderson, Thanos, Iron Spider, Killmonger, the Infinity War Hulkbuster, oh, and Doctor Strange. Wow. So that's pretty much like the whole website. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, it's not a good list. Yep. Sideshow so no. hit me with six next week. No, seven with Yondu next week. Wait, which ones are... Which six ones? statues, something else. Oh, that's right, that's right. That's right. Yeah, I 
He's kind of like weird. But no, it's it's like he's kind of turning. Like Every different. single Mezco that's gone up for pre-order, I have on pre-order. Uh, John, what's up, brother? Karina actually told me that uh, the package arrived, <laughs> and I FaceTime her to open it. So I will be opening that, or I'll be showing that on my Wednesday I live stream, matter. I believe. <laughs> Um, so thank you, brother, for that. That's dope. Um, let's see. Did my Luke Hot Toys come in the mail yet? Uh, no. Friend box. Oh, oh yay. Um, Cakes and pies. Cakes and pies. <laughs> where's, where's my keys at? Hold up. Pause. Where's my keys? You could take I can take, take them big. with you to, so they can see yeah, the, the charcoal. Them, man. Do you actually have a charger in your car? Like a phone charger for um, it? Plug in the USB? I don't, I don't have any more of this cable, unfortunately. Oh, oh, here, you know what? Um, so you can have your phone case. Yeah. Okay, this is, just stick your phone uh, there. Greg Cook, two minutes ago, got that thing posted. Greg Cook, uh, where's my shoes at? Big Dub's at 201. Oops. Hey. Yeah. Oh, that one was me. Yay. Well, it took you a lot less time to follow him yeah. than it did Josh on Instagram. That's, 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 that's not I true. believe Brooklyn was following me on Instagram. Uh, this guy should be lifting heavy. Oh, hold on. Here's a, here's a, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, we got a hate comment. These guys should be lifting heavy and picking up females, but they play with toys. This is the in what is that word? Infantilization. Uh, of already low testosterone beta males. Hey, you know what, brother? Spicy Cucumber, you got the, uh, you got the recognition you're looking for, so I appreciate that comment. Uh, Solo Hunter, what's up? So you have this stuff. No, I do not have, well... At my house, I have it, but I do not have it here because I'm in ten. Well, you're from the UK, but I'm in a different state right now. I'm in Tennessee. Bam, Greg Cook, you know, brother. Peace, love, and positivity. Sorry. Shout out to Bobby Tarantino. Uh, big, you want to take over the stream? I can. Me? All right, we'll be back in like a minute. Me to go? Eight minutes? I'll be back. I'm going to open something. I mean, there's people that put them fireworks. You know? Just stand out there on the back. I'll watch you with my green bag in hand. Green bag in hand. So we're going to open this Michonne since Foxy opened his rig. Three Zero Walking Dead. If anybody out there has Three Zero Game of Thrones figures, especially Jon Snow or uh, Ned Stark, hit me up. I will pay seventy-two dollars for those. They are not cheap, and they are very difficult to find. The same Domino's guy. All right, so we're gonna get shown open. Those of you that watch Walking Dead, what do you think about uh, Andy Lincoln leaving? I think he's only got six episodes left. And Maggie, uh, Lauren Cohen only has four. I, I've been reading Walking Dead forever, long before the show came on. Well, I mean, a few years before the show came on. And I can't imagine the Walking Dead universe without Rick Grimes. So I don't know what that will be. Somebody's waving to you, Brooklyn. Um, Cream City Figs is waving. I didn't know um, Maggie was leaving. Yeah, she only has four episodes. Mm -hmm. So there's a, I know there's a big contract dispute. She wanted to be paid the same as Reedus and Lincoln. But apparently they have backed the money truck up for Norman Reedus. Mm -hmm. And whatever it takes for him to take over as the lead, which is interesting since he's not in the comics. What? So, uh, there's that booty. Oh, so this is the Michonne. <laughs> See if I can get there. We go. So, oh, that's a really good head sculpt. It's really good. If you're interested in six scale, but you don't want to go the Hot Toys route, because Hot Toys are getting crazy. I mean, all the Iron Men now are over three hundred dollars because they're die cast. Uh, so, if you're interested in three zero or uh, six scale, Walking Dead, most of the TV stuff, three zero has the license, and their MSRP is like one forty. They're way cheaper. It's, it doesn't come with a stand, it doesn't come with as much stuff, it doesn't come in the same kind of box. But you can get there. You can get yourself into it. Fantastic. The, the face sculpts are great. Uh, and then other scale, like I have, I think the company is Susu Toys. They made the TV Flash six scale figure. It's unlicensed, therefore it's cheap. And it's called like Scarlet Speedster or something like that. Um, my buddy David helped me get that. And it's great. It's a great figure, great stand. And I, I don't know, it's like 120 bucks, something like that. So if you want to go down that uh, path, that's a good thing. Um, I don't think they're going to cancel Walking Dead. Fear of the Walking Dead is apparently really good this season. I haven't watched it yet. 
I've heard it's very good. I know Lenny James went over. I know there's been some deaths. I don't know what it is. I don't want to get spoiled, so I'm not going to read what people are saying. Um, but they're not... Walking Dead is still the top five rating show on television. They're not going to cancel. Really? I'm surprised. They're not going to cancel. I, I think all the people that are bitching market? about it still A couple seasons. It. Oh, it dropped, but it was doing like... Did I see that? Yeah, it was doing the numbers that like NCIS was doing on broadcast television. It was doing like 16 million viewers... Negan showed up. People didn't like Negan. It was always going to be hard to do that on television. Yeah. You know, True. our comic book stuff, right? Like, some of the most controversial comic book arcs, like the death of Superman, Bane breaking Batman's back, they just skirted over those in the movies because they can't. Thank you very much for the sub. I appreciate it. You're definitely getting the, uh, the pets, aren't you? Eventually, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I have her with I'm the pets so in like every like, instance that I have. This is recent, so Rick, I think, is the first. So this is like two years later. They've gotten better. Yeah, yeah. it's fantastic. Yeah, it's, so it's really good. It's really good. Oh, oh yeah. Angie. I also want if if uh, put a link in the in the chat. I can't find a Walking Dead licensed katana. Um, you can find a million just katanas to have at your house. I do. Have a Lucille that someone made for me, with actual barbed wire, made from a block of wood. That I have a buddy that likes weapons, and he made it for me. Like what this shows is complete opposite. Yeah. I'm saying like, because she comes with her robe hood thing, like or like the walker thing. Yeah. Where she's like carrying them. Yeah, the hood. And like Rick, the hood. he was displayed as like normal, but he came as like with the jacket and everything. So I was just saying like this doesn't. Well, that's do this. this if you. I mean that's that, but. Well, I guess what I'm getting at is that you should show everything, everything that comes in. Yeah, so yeah. I'm saying this doesn't yeah. even do it justice. It's better. Yeah. Yes. Honestly, it's right. Yeah, like where you said, Rick doesn't even show the right clothes. It's on. Yeah. Michonne's awesome. I have a graded 9.8 Walking Dead number 19, the first appearance of Michonne. That is the most mm -hmm. valuable comic I own. Mm -hmm. It is not a cheap comic. Am I allowed to ask how much that is or no? It's worth like it's like twelve hundred bucks. Oh, or twelve. <laughs> great, because it's a graded nine eight, and it, that will only go up. I mean, she's it's like crazy. one of the greatest There's comic characters. There's a few characters. of the Walking Dead comics that go for a lot, and that's well, Walking, Walking Dead number one is, depending on its grade, it could be twenty thousand yeah. dollars. What was the one that used? They had Walking Dead number two. Ask me today. Like, Do I need this for? It was Walking Dead number two. They had a nine eight signed by Kirkman. Walking Dead number two for six hundred and fifty bucks. Signed I by Kirkman. It. Yeah. And it was only six fifty. Uh, with the with the gold CGC where CGC saw him sign it and yeah. it's authenticating. Why, the why do I feel like that should be more with his signature and the? Would, I have I have Kirkman's signature. So I I went to New York Comic Con several years ago. Instead of going to Walking Dead panel, I went to a Skybound panel, which is his comic imprint. Right. And so he had all, it's like this, right? So this is Josh, but you have us and you're letting us talk. It's like that. So Kirkman mm -hmm. was there, but he had like all his other creators and was letting them talk. And he was just, hey, you come up while you're asking him questions and I'll sign your badges. Nothing, for nothing. It was great. So I have, I have an NYCC badge signed by Kirkman, which yeah, is super awesome. cool. That's great. Um, I, no, I, honestly, I don't still watch The Walking Dead. I'm kind of disappointed in it. Is this my beer? I don't it is. Yeah, this is yours, bro. Here. Thank Drink that shit, dude. <sighs> You are a friend. Uh, dude, honestly, these are... What What else does uh, 3 Zero make? What Game are of the Thrones? Ones? Oh, God. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Breaking Bad? Yeah, Ooh. dude, that the Heisenberg. He, they've got Heisenberg, and Jesse, and then they, they they have coming out Better Call Saul, Saul Goodman. Oh, nice. So then they've got Spring with his... Friend Box is coming out very yet. soon. That would happen. That'd be awesome if they did. Um, and then they have the hazmat suit, two-pack Jesse and Walter. Nice. I have seen that, but... The, I'm They're a TV license coming. I'm yeah. Awesome. yeah. They look. The Daenerys is great. That's what we were looking for. Uh, Art Gutierrez has got that. Wow. He posted a picture of it. Yeah, he yeah. just got that. Hmm. Noob say what? Noob wins. I don't remember what's in Um, Kokomo has that Daenerys. That's it, right? Daenerys? Yes, I do. I forgot about that. Yeah. What is her real name? Kira. I can't wait to do the pronunciation with Josh thing. Oh my god. I'm gonna make like a little like. <laughs> Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh my god. Pronunciation with Josh. Oh, oh what man. The... <laughs> King Zach with another 20 says, I feel bad for whoever has to sleep under the picture of the sketchy ass cabin. Brother, that's me. Yo, this place is actually is in my Tennessee. Bad. Is it really? Yeah, it's called Kate's Cove. It's in Sevierville. It's a little. That's a good place. observation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's... so it's this. Yeah, brother, that's me because. 
they're sleeping in that bed, I'm sleeping in that bed, and Big Dove got his own room, because he, this was last second trip for him. This has been planned for like weeks. Yeah. Kind of. I decided at 5.30 yesterday. Yeah, yeah. I was like, hey, I'm going. But Zach, bro, thank you, dude. Your, the support is very much appreciated. It gives me uh, lost words. That's a murder cat for sure. You know what, bro? Now you say that, 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 that no, that's definitely that, something that some paranormal investigators. It was actually go to. a really nice. Uh, yeah. um, it really, it's a community. It's nice it's inside. A, I mean, yeah, they're beautiful. You homes. can't live in it, of course. Why? Yeah. Why can't you live in it? It's it's, it's a, a national land. Hold on, isn't this America? This is America. Yeah. Okay, we slip in them. They know no, they're not going to stand. Okay. Well, I'm just saying. I'm just yeah, saying. It's in a national park now. Okay. It's like get eaten by a bear. It's really, it's really cool up there. That's actually the first place I ever saw. There was the bear at the. There was a bear at our bachelor, or not our, his bachelor party. What? I'm going to open the friend box. Um, oh, God, it's heavy. I don't know if you guys have a... Uh, we haven't seen this in a while. Yeah, it's, it's been two months. Because his wedding obviously yeah. kicked in. But we've been doing this since um, November of 2017. So we've... Uh, we made it to June 29th, yeah. which is now 30th. Oh, C2, E2, bro. That was the last oh, I gave that to you. The, uh, at Cincy's house. Before that's we crazy. Hand delivered, which was, which was, in, oh, that was Lexington. Was that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hand delivered Lexington, yeah. Kentucky, yeah. <laughs> Put early in his book. That's me. Yeah, that was early, man. I sent it to you, and then. Yeah, well, well you sent it to me on the 18th. 12th, or the 18th of December, and I sent it to you less than a month later. Yeah. And so this was your guys' uh, Christmas present, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yep. Cool. Let's get to. Yeah. Should I look in it or just? Nah, just, just grab. Is just there like, any chance like there said, depends on the garments in there? Yes. I mean, yes. 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 Like I said, there's things in here that you can use for future things. <laughs> Danny just pre ordered the Gladiator Hulk, bro. That's it. Ah, oh, man. Hot Toys? Yeah. From where? Big Bad, gotta be. I think Sideshow still has it. Really? I, think I mean, so. that's been up for like a year. Let's huh. check. It's literally in my brief, recent browsing history. Thor Ragnarok. It what is this? It's a print that I got a long time ago. <laughs> That's crazy. Fanboy. Really? Yeah. It's it's awesome. We got a little art card. I'll just call it that. I thought it was uh, appropriate. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, this is dope. Got Wolverine and Sabretooth. I wish I knew who did this, though. Who did that? There's a little signature on it. Oh, uh, our, our Paisby, 2016, wow, that's awesome. Alright, I'm going to look at this, uh, see if Gladiator, I think Gladiator Hawk's still available. Comes out yeah, next to me. Yeah, dollars pre-order. Did you see that Yoda? That's nice. The, 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 recent, the one that they recently showed? Like real hair? Yeah, like the, yeah, the Tactical yeah. Phone one. It yeah, comes with cool. the dynamic stand. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. <laughs> oh hell yeah, dude! And I can use this bubble wrap. Oh, so. That's all I have left. I didn't know what happened to the rest of it. <laughs> yeah. So we got a uh, a range trooper, which will make my second, I think. So I was I was thinking you only had one. Yeah, hopefully. So like I was like, he needs a squad to take pictures. Yeah, we'll uh, so. we'll fuck around and take some pictures once it gets cold. Oh, boots with the fur. <laughs> Pretty, yeah, he's great. He's yeah. fun. Those are cool things. I love them. Oh, and some more snow theme stuff. Oh. We got a uh, vintage collection. Uh, what's it called? Hoth Trooper. I'm gonna open this one though. Let's yeah. get the flow. I told you, man. I had yeah. those. I got them. Yeah, I got you knew those were in there probably. Yeah. I told you. you there's a lot of stuff in there. This this was like a, a a toy photography box, man. Yeah, dude. I'm excited. I'll be excited to take pictures of these when well, I'm not excited for it to snow. To be honest with you. I'm going to put Greg's uh, video just posted in the chat. Greg posted a video? Just posted our video today. Oh, nice. What? No, what? Yeah. Just post that. Me. Is Greg in here still? Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, dude. I mean, you can take those out of the box if you want to. No, oh, yeah. But, uh, you know. I checked those in Florida, my man. Yeah, so we have the, the Duble, the Mimbin Troopers. Which, if you guys haven't seen Solo yet, I would highly recommend this. These are cool ass troopers. Did you guys see they have SH figure arts of these? Yes. Did you see that? Yes. Brother? They have SH figure arts of the Memmin troopers? Yeah, they're out. Some people have already gone. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I think uh, there's two so and a Chewy from Solo are out. Did you 
Chris Riggs get them? No, I don't. I, I think they I mean, just. Does, does he get them? He can. No. Yeah, he can. Yeah. Wow. I think, I think I saw yeah, it at uh, Image Anime in uh, New York. Yeah, these are from the Force Link uh, series. Really detailed for that too. Yeah, no, this is—I mean—the weathering and stuff on them. And it's not Jesus. It's not the same actual yeah. weathering. If you look at the chest, ironically, the chest uh, weathering—it's different. So that I will honestly give Hasbro props for that, for not making it the same like identical figure. Damn, dude, I'm gonna have to do some heavy photography. That's damn man, I'm telling you. Oh, this one? Dude, I'm gonna open this up. Oh, hold on, what? It's a chewy on the mini ball. Oh, yeah. That chewy. I want that, dude. I want that chewy. The solo chewy SH? I have, for like three months, kept putting SH figure Star Wars in the car. Oh man, no. But this is something else. I'm actually going to open this up uh, right now because I think his mask is removable. Yeah, but this mask. We on. saw that at the Walmart on the way here, and I was like, oh man, look at there. And you're yeah. like, oh dude, that's sweet. Yeah, I think I'm almost positive. I was like, so worried. His, uh, his mask comes off. And that's honestly all I really care about because we're never getting him in a black. I don't think we're getting him in a black series. Correct me if I'm wrong. In the Whip it out. But I'm almost positive. Yep. <laughs> oh, nice. <Yep. laughs> Alright, Hasbro. I'll give you props on this. Killed it. For a 5 POA figure, you actually... Hold on. Here's his... Uh, obviously, here's his mask right here. But it's not really going to focus. But actually, some, like, some sort of gimmick on a 5 POA figure. That's nice. Which is super cool. But... His, uh, is it funny? Is it? It's going to be like the far left the far, corner of the box. Far, all right, I got like, like this There you one? go. Yeah. Come on, you know go bomb. Go bomb. Is that a <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. It's just a couple. Long time watchers will know this. How, when was this muffin introduced? This was when you it first came. Very first trip. I was like, yo, you want a muffin? And you were like, yeah, sure. And you were like, you know what? I'm not eating this. I'm going to keep it forever. <laughs> so this muffin was from our his first time up to Ohio. Our first. Me. No, it was it was Columbus. And you know you know how long I've had that. When you came down for fanboy the first time. This was still in your car. Because I forgot to give it to you. So this will almost be a year old. Yeah. And unfortunately, it still looks fresh. It's been in the car too. Yeah, that's bad. We should not eat this stuff. Do not guys. eat that. That's a. Is there an expiration date on this? No, I looked for it. <laughs> This, this is so hilarious. Like, it even looks like, like a this is literally probably almost a year old. Yeah. I would say very close to a year old. I don't know if you guys can like... I mean, there's like no mold. Like, it's just smashed because it's been in my car. But yeah. These guys are probably like, I don't want to see a damn muffin. Do you want me to put the elephant mask on the muffin? <laughs> <laughs> so, I feel like these are comics. Yeah. Is this is all these comics yeah. right here? Oh, well, I guess I it's like... This? Keep you busy. Well, I just went around and picked stuff that I thought you would like. Think was cool. Oh shit! Damn. Okay, I'm gonna try to get through these one by one. Dude, the case is where it's at. Comics. Yeah. I don't. I haven't saw their. Do these stickers now. come off easily? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Hell yeah. They don't have comics anymore. We can't find them anyway. Wow. Ooh, I'm already excited. Um. So we got the Punisher 2099. Oh man, you know what? I'm actually more excited that Scotty Pippen's on the back, bro. I Shout out that. to Scotty. I saw that and I was like, "Shit, you like that? Why not?" Man, when was this coming? Look, yeah, is that when, for a, is that for a trading ball card? Trading cards, Fleer yeah. Clear Ultra. Yeah, this was '92 to '93. Is there pogs back there? Oh my god, dude, look at this. They were advertising Super Nintendo games in these. This, this is what I love about like old comics. Not just the art, but just the ads. I and mean, it's just yeah. like... And really, there's no ads in the old comics like there are today. Which, obviously, that's how they pay for them now. But... <laughs> I just think cool. That's art. Oh, yeah, dude. Me no, too. Just... 100%. And then we have... Punisher Rampage Double Double Edge. Wow. Dude, I'm just like distracted by this glare. Oh, it's a... It's a... It's, yeah. Front and back. So there's this... 
It's cool for five PLA. Really good. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Dude, this is awesome. Dude, there's no ads in this. This is the one that makes my pepper go away. Wow. There's no ads in this at all. That's, That's crazy. Old days. When was this? Does it even say? Eat the muffin? Yeah, I, no. 1995. Mm -hmm. It's been good for like a year, cool. and I will not touch it. I will not eat that ever. Ooh, shit. Is there... Wow, San Diego Comic Con exclusive? I didn't even know that was a thing. Wow, look, the Hulkbuster. Right? Yeah, I saw look, that. Like, the no Hulkbuster, uh... Little figure. Little figure way, thank you. And this is the X-Men 92 wow. Secret Wars uh, cover. It looks like it's a San Diego Comic Con exclusive limited to 5,000 pieces. Did you get this up in case too? Mm -hmm. Really? Is there? Yeah, I thought we got those at the. Look at those at that market. No, wow. This is, there's a lot more than that. Here's the, oh, no. here's the art. Just 92. a little quick shot. I did get 92. I did get 92. We had a little market at Pedler's Market. School. I like how Cyclops' eyes are yeah, cool. great. Yeah, anything else than Gamma's card? Oh, wow. Here, you know what? I'm going to do this so I don't see what's coming up. There you go. Oh, we got Star Wars number. That's a uh, the Gillen Star Wars. That's a Loot Crate exclusive. You can get that in your Loot Crate. Oh, definitely. okay, yeah, I know, I do know they do. So we got Star Wars issue number one. Is Jason Aaron Star Wars. Uh, Aaron, right? Uh, yeah, Aaron. Mm -hmm. Jason Aaron, my dude. Yeah, we got Star Wars number one. We got a Loot Crate exclusive cover with uh, Mr. Han and Chewie. He just Brian said, "Hey, my buddy Chad co-wrote the X Men '92." I feel oh, like gosh. I've heard you talk about him before, but uh. Fine, BJ. I'll send this to you and have him sign it for me. <laughs> Chad Bowers? Yeah. All right, brother. I'll send this to you have him sign it for me. I appreciate it. Hey, Thanks, man. Jason, Jason Aaron is the guy that's been on Thor for a long time. The Jane Thor and the death of Jane Thor that just happened. Okay. Uh, he's yeah. great. And he writes Southern Bastards, which is an awesome I independent comic. Uh, Davey's Action Figures, what's up, man? Uh, Kiwi Collective said the Fleet Ultra 1996 Marvel cards were made was so good. Honestly, the Fleet Ultra basketball cards were so good. Holland Bricks, I graduated in 99. Ooh, We're out for a bar. What is this? That. Did you? Yeah, I had to. Fantastic. So we have, looks like Avengers vs. X-Men, Wolverine, and the X-Men. It's a trade number, uh, volume three. The artwork on this is dope. This is so freaking good. Man. So McKay's the, oh, Red Hulk. Now, see, look, this is a sign, guys. Sign, we gotta go back. I gotta go get, I gotta get the select Red Hulk. Isn't that a sign, brother? We gotta go back, okay? It's a sign, right? Yeah. Or we can go get the uh, Legends build a figure Red Hulk for $500. Yeah. yeah, why not? Um, so McKay's doesn't have comics anymore? I'm not, we should, like, call them ass, because we couldn't find them last time we were there, but we didn't go all over the entire the, store. When you took Crean and I there, there were comics there. I yeah. remember that, mm -hmm. but they just, like... They put Pops there now. Oh, wow. So I don't know what's going on with that. That's crazy. Ooh, What's what? up, Sunny Lane? How's it going? Ooh, Thor. I haven't read any. Is that Doctor Doom? It is. Oh shit. I haven't read any Thor comics, so I don't know what this is or what series. I know it's Volume Three of this, but all these like graphic novels here, man. The freaking artwork is insane. Is that strange? It is. Right there. I just have to move Nice. That's a Lady Thor. Remember trying to get all the Marvel hologram chase cards that Venom was. Oh, okay, so there's a collected edition. Nice. So it looks like this is uh, from 2007. It says it's Thor the giant size finale. I don't know if that makes any sense. That's what it says on the cover. That's what I'm going to go with. Thor is always the So we got that. Super cool. Oh, I'm very excited. Yeah, Lego Logan, you did. I remember yeah. that comment. Do you guys have uh, Ollie's? Here? I, yeah, have you I seen do. when all these got those like massive shipments of uh, trades? Yeah. Like two, three, yeah. four dollars. still has quite a bit. I mean, like that Civil War two in the one. Yeah. So like really recent big events. So here's a, a Daredevil volume two. BJ, you'll probably be able to help me out with what's going on here, on what this is. Oh, uh, looks like Spidey's on the back. That is, I actually, I've had that Did one you a read? little bit, uh -huh. and uh, I read that one. That one's really is cool. That green. Really it's really cool. It's I don't kinda, want to flip that's kind of dark. Like that's one of the darker Daredevil stories I've read. Damn. I haven't read a Daredevil comic. I need to though. You should, man. Yeah. Oh shit, Spidey twenty ninety nine. I have. I think I only have like one or two of these. This is uh. 
Very bueno. Can I do the sack real quick? Love this. Which one? This one? The sack? The stack. Oh, this okay. one, I think I put it. Here we go. So we got a Spider-Man 2099. I'm actually going to open this because I'm I'm curious as to like when these came out. That's oh uh, that's a thing for me. I just I was like not these to me. Oh 100 percent. 93. Yeah. Dude, I love the pages and the art in this. Like look how great the art was back then. It I mean it's it just smell it waft it. It really smells like an old book. You watch comic book man, either you? Yeah, I like I, I, well, so I the, when to. they go like to the Jeffy's museum, and he uh, he opens up the first appearance of Superman, and he Man. smells it. Mm -hmm. Is Comic Book Man over too? Yeah, they canceled They're it. Canceling it. Yeah. And Jeffy's closed. Jeffy, so Jeffy is the guy that owns Diamond, the exclusive distributor of comics in the entire world. I I'm a Ravens fan, so I went to Baltimore just by myself to go to a Ravens game on a Thursday night. It was right by the stadium. I'm like, oh, this <laughs> thing says anywhere. comics. You're I'm gonna go issue. check this out, and I walk in, and there's the first appearance of Superman, the first appearance of Batman. I'm like, what did I just walk into? <laughs> That's millions of dollars. Dang. It's a super. It was a Dude. super cool place. He donated all of it to the Library of Congress, so it'd be preserved. Wow. It was like fifty million dollars. <laughs> yes. Fans? Yes. Oh my god. Yes. Dude. Yes. <laughs> Fucking Spider Ham. That's the greatest. <laughs> I had, I Listen, that is Army hilarious. build Spider Ham and pork grind. I'm gonna have to read this just so I know what the hype is on this spider. Yeah, it's, it's a pig. It's, it's, just, it's, it's just a fad, man. Like, okay. no, that's that's hilarious. Ooh. Yeah, well, Thor's is a good one too. Uh, Adam it's Fields. Secret Wars. Adam Fields is gonna draw me something yeah, on that's this. What I figured, man. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's chase yeah, We're still going. Right. Yeah, dude. I, got, I told you, man. I went through oh, a lot of it. That's all right. Deadpool Secret Secret Wars. I haven't. I, I actually I haven't read Vader Down yet. Um, once I finish. The current series of Vader, Vader Down is what I'm going to go back and read. But now I at least have the first issue. That sucks it's sealed. Ooh, that's a good that's point, awesome. Paul and Bricks. What's all these probably will look like Toys R Us here in about a month. That is very true. Like yeah. it'll just have all, all that same, that Wonder Woman wave of multiverse. Yeah. 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 It took three years and never saw it. <laughs> oh my god, this Lando. That was a Comic Con exclusive as well. Yeah, wow, this land is to, from 2015. Needful things is, oh, is read Spider, like Spider Verse if you have a Josh, which I will also agree with. Into the Spider Verse stuff is great. Is it? And they've got that Miles animated um, Spider Man at the end of the year, which is Spider Man into That's the Spider Verse. That's a movie, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah that so looks it's good. Getting, it's getting released. Yeah, the, the trailer and, for that looks really and good. And if they're going to bridge into Spider-Verse stuff. So Spider-Verse is where Spider-Man comes from and Spider-Woman and yeah. Spider-Ham and all the... That's where they all start to originate cool. from. So we got the PX Comic-Con exclusive uh, Lando, number one. Dude, that cover I just like awesome. how it's like, you know... It's like a sketch, drawn, almost, yeah. But, like, it's still yeah, like, Lobot. It looks like Charlie Brown. Yeah. Like, because he has, like, the little squiggles with the thinking or whatever. All right, so yeah. are we on, like, two or three left? All right, yeah. Okay. These are the, these are the best. Oh, what is this? A sketchbook? A sketchbook. Is this like just sketches in here? I believe so, yeah. This is a, we got, and uh, the, oh, okay. We got tape catching the top of it. We got a sketchbook of this. Go through it. Is there? Oh, man, that is pretty cool. Oh, shit. So it's literally like a sketchbook? Yeah. It's just a bunch of sketches and stuff. From artists. That's nice. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Nice Scott Young cover. Lando is a good read. I haven't uh, read the Lando one. So you want a new? There's a Scott Young. Yeah, that's a, a Scott Young cover. No. Somebody said there's a nice Scott Young cover. I think there's a nice Scott Young cover. On yeah, that. he has S Y. So right in my. Uh, my downstairs, like half bath, like guest bathroom. Mm -hmm. I have like some of my favorite books with the hip hop cover I've seen and the Scotty Young oh, variant yeah, cover yeah, yeah. side by side. So B when you're peeing, yeah. you can just take it all. <laughs> BJ showed me the, the hip hop covers. Those two are the best. Are like. they? Oh, shit. this is a lenticular, right? Lenticular. Is that what's called? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, mother. It's a uh, Avengers No Surrender Part One, but it's a uh, lenticular cover. I don't even think that's coming through. It on is, there. yeah. Is it? Can't see it moving around, yeah. So it looks like we have uh, Scarlet Witch. Uh, Rogue? Is that Rogue? Yeah. 
And they have Captain America, Spider-Man, Lady Thor, Wasp, Hulk, Vision, a bunch of other people on here. It's nice. Yeah, this is very, very cool. I'm digging this. And this is part one, apparently. That's, uh... So Legacy like, was the, the reboot that they just eliminated, right? Yeah. Oh, man. Isn't that sick? Yeah, I love this. I mean, Sentinels just, like, have a... Yeah, Wolverine. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's all the Jim Lee stuff. Mm. That cover is awesome. Yeah, it is. I like that one a lot. Yeah. You got to almost just like, hold it and move it. Oh, we yeah, earned her. That's so... I was with him. The Jane. I'm sorry, Jane. So here's uh, X-Men Adventures, sorry, number two. Man, this cover is dope. It's a lenticular situation. Wow, this sure art here, we here. go Beast. Some good, uh, and we got uh, the Jim Lee Cyclops right there and Beast going on right there. Very cool. Yeah, that is, oh boy. This is pretty cool too. This is stuff that, like, whenever I get, like, a nerd room, whenever Karina and I get a new house, like, stuff like this will just be instantly framed. Yeah. And just, it'll just be, like, wallpaper at that point. Yeah. Holy shit, dude, thank you. Yeah, good stack of reads, man. Honestly, just, I'm just art. <laughs> yeah. I mean, let a, you know, whatever about the reads, like, that's just a bonus in my eyes, because all these are just so cool. Like, I like that. A lot of good number ones to start you. Like, oh, yeah. Who, who else did they do 29.9 with? All I know is Spidey and. Was that the newest Daredevil? No. Did they do a 29.9 Daredevil? I know Punisher was 29.9. I'm Punisher and Spidey and. And you hear, I think I have number one of the X Men Adventures if you need it. Uh, I mean, I don't think I have. Is there any more in here or am I done? No, you're good, I think. I'm good? Okay, it's good. Over Fuck yeah, dude. I love Bubble Wrap. Is that a muffin? <laughs> Eat the muff. That muffin's gonna go back in front of us. It's gonna be 60 years old and still passing that. Yeah. Thanks, homie, for the print box, dude. I'm, 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 I'm so excited about this. I'm gonna read good. and drive tomorrow. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. This dude's cool as shit, too. He is cool. Yeah. I like how that mask comes off. Yeah, I wonder if I could get a, some sort of a picture. Somehow. Anyone old enough to remember when TM TMNT yes. toys were advertised in the back of the comics and took forever to show up in stores? Yes. <laughs> so, a uh, story about Big Dub, if you want a story time. My previous collection, I had every, every Playmates TMNT figure, both loose and on the card, the whole run until like 95. That was my original collection. Turtles were my thing when I was a kid. I, uh, when I decided to make career change, I sold the whole collection to finance getting my graduate degree and said, okay, if I do this, because a lot of it was stuff I kept from childhood, like it was yeah. a real deal collection. I said, I will. So this will let you know why I have Big Dub has a big haul. So I said, I'll do it, get my degree, and that starts paying off in a career. I'll rebuild a collection that's better than anything I ever had. So I, I, all of the TMNT stuff, I remember, I won't go back and get it again, though, because it's not. That yeah, yeah. that has to be a meaningful part of my life to move on from. That's crazy. Like, I had Sc Scratch was, like, the last one they released, and I had it graded. Wow. Yeah. I sold the whole collection in minute 30. So, like, 79 dollars. Thirty grand pennies. Yeah, there isn't wampum. There isn't pennies. Sunny Lane says Spider Man twenty nine nine is a good read. I think I got like one or two random uh, twenty ninety nine um, comics on Free Comic Book Day. Yeah, I think the shop that I went to had like fifty cent pull. Uh, I don't know bins or whatever. I think I just got a couple of random cool comics. So I'm excited for that. Um, since I'm now your long lost uncle, I expect 
Christmas gifts, IP. Oh, God. IP's probably made a lot of promises in this chat. Um, let's see. I turned my mask collection around and put it right into figures. It was roughly 9K. Feels like yesterday, but it was 2011. Oh, a mask collection, man. Do you have the base? Boulder, Boulder Mountain? Boulder Hill? I'm confident there's not many people even know what we're talking about. Is that what that dude was showing this in yeah, the yeah, truck or whatever? Yeah. See you yawning or you don't view. Mask, the greatest uh, cartoon yeah, 80s yeah, theme song ever. Brooklyn cuddling with the juggernaut over there. You don't I hear you. you good? Release. Okay. Big juggernaut. Do y'all want them to release juggernaut like it was in we were, me and Josh were talking about how, like, if Hasbro would ever do, like, an actual movie Deadpool wave. I don't be, think, I think if they finish the acquisition of Fox, they will. Yeah. Like, it'd be cool just to have let it ride. Is that what you're saying? What? What? Oh. What happened? Uh, it'd yeah. be cool if that juggernaut was, like, the build a figure. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I think they do very, I mean, because all of the Deadpool wave, both of them are comics. And the Venom stuff is comics. Like, I, I don't think... I want that Sauron. Right. I don't think Disney allows Hasbro to really make the toys from the Fox movies. Yeah. Or no. Because, uh, spoiler alert, Scarlet Spider, I believe the last issue I just read, Sauron, is one of the sure. pop up villains. Which I think is pretty cool. You should read the Scarlet Spider. It's a, it's a very, very, very good read, I believe. <clears throat> Uh, Rabbit Hammer says, did you guys know? What do we know? What do we know, brother? I'm about to watch season six, episode three of The Clone Wars. It's great. Great episode. All of them are great. Yes, the actor that was Aaron in The Walking Dead was Red Skull. Hasbro won't make figs from rated R films, will they? Um, it's not, I mean, right, Hasbro will not make figures from non-Disney movies. Yeah. And Disney currently. For a Disney product. Yeah, I guess. So they're making comics though, which is not Disney owned. No, Disney owns Marvel comics. Right, that's what I mean. That's yeah, why they're so, making comics. But series. they don't have the rights to Deadpool from the movie side or the X Men. No. Sony has the Spider Man rights. So and Fantastic Four is with them. So they'll only make comic versions of that. I think legally they can only make comic right. versions. Right. Probably. But I mean, di you know, Disney and Comcast are going back and forth on this bid for Fox. If Disney wins it, that'll miraculously change. They'll probably release a bunch of stuff. I would think next year. It's going to have to be the uh, yeah. I think it'd be cool to get a uh, a Deadpool Colossus, like um. That would be what's cool. the three three A three A made the uh, six six scale right? The Colossus yeah. Steel. It was three. It was unlicensed. Well, I don't. I don't remember who it was. It wasn't three A. It was somebody uh, that does unlicensed. Oh, it was toys, called, like, I think it was Toys Era. Iron Guy or something. Yeah, like it was called the like, Steel. Um, and there's a, a a movie. It's good. That figure's good. Yeah, since he has it, it looks really really good in person. Do you have it? No. no yeah, it looks it looks cool with, with the Deadpool, uh, the sideshow Deadpool. Um, but a couple of like the what are they called? Third party? Is that technically what they are? Like the yeah. six scale, if not Hot Toys or sideshows, third party stuff. I wouldn't like call it third party. It's just different. Companies. There's a uh, there's a Spider Woman. There's a Psylocke from the movie version that's coming out. And there's a mystique with the, the, the like from the first X Men movie, like with the red hair Rebecca Romano. And they're called mystique. No, they're so called by the, Transformers. Un, I don't know what you would call unlicensed companies. Yeah. Because technically it's illegal what they're doing. That's very, why it's not an American company. Very, very, yeah. Um, but they don't seem to get enforced. Or maybe they do. I mean, maybe they do. Maybe there's like some kind of like loophole that they go through. I mean, I feel like it, the name is different, and I'm sure they tweak something super minor that's not to the eye, but it's technically out of bounds. And they're probably making it in a country that the U.S. trademark laws don't apply to. Yeah, I mean, they probably have thought about this very... Because they're taking pre-orders, they're blasting all over Facebook, they're blasting all over the internet. So, I mean, obviously, Sideshow or Hot Toys or whoever is going to see this, but they're, they're not doing anything. Sideshow apparently has started going after or making custom. hot toys. Yeah, custom head sculpts. Yeah. Books. Have you heard about that? Yeah. Like people who are making their own custom like six scale head sculpts. So you, you're, we're paying ten million dollars for the likeness of Robert Downey Jr. You don't 
don't get to do it for free. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're going after people who are selling these. They're allowing people to make one of ones. For them. But if you're, like, taking on business and charging oh. people for it, though, they're, uh, what is it, cease and desist yeah. papers? Yeah. yeah. I heard uh, Funko is actually doing it to custom artists, too. Yeah. I kind of... I'm cool with like the one of ones because I mean I'm not a customizer or whatever and that's not how I make my like back end money but I go for it man. There was I, a period they, of time they, people shouldn't be allowed to do that. That honestly. Disney was doing that to cosplayers. Oh, see where that? they would come and season it. So like if you were like if Brooklyn had the I dress up as Anna and I come to your birthday party as Frozen mm -hmm. and they kind of, and you make money off the likeness they would issue a season. They've only you. like in the last couple of years changed that policy and don't let it happen now. Mm -hmm. Free marketing is the best kind of marketing, right? Mm -hmm. But for for years they would do that. See, I don't agree with Funko going after your custom art and stuff because they literally put a DIY pop out there for you to do shit with. That's true. But That's they're probably going after the people who buy a Funko Pop and like kit bash stuff together yeah. and make you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I doubt every customizer buys that DIY pop. Oh, yeah. But yeah, the 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 head sculpt stuff. I mean, I I kind of get it because those people charge a Quite a bit of money. Kyle Bishop said, Boss Fight showed me hello love today, bro. What'd they do, brother? Kyle from Boss Fight. <laughs> shout, shout out to Kyle. Kyle, shout out to Boss Kyle from Boss Fight. <laughs> uh, but but what you, uh, what happened, bro? I'd love to see a six inch Colossus Juggernaut. Ooh, a, a jug, what's that called? A jugga, juggalossus? Juggalossus? Brother, you love that. I do, man. I can't stop messing with him. Yeah, he's, he's a dope figure, bro. I need to find that Marvel uh, Legend, what's it called? Toy Biz Colossus, I don't know, the toy department. I should have bought um, that. There was a Toy Biz Legend Juggernaut sitting in somewhere, and I had never seen that. Cool. Send I was me in the first place when you walk in, yeah. Uh, wow, Kyle said they sent me an extra Dragon Lord, told me to keep it for customs. Huh. Oh, wow. Hey, big dub. Uh, put your YouTube oh. channel on there. Oh, well, Damn. Honestly, Kyle, dude, that's, that's fantastic. I am... I'm happy for you, bro. I just wish Boss Fight would show me love, cause I've they've shown me zero love, and I know I've I've spent hundreds of dollars, and I've probably brought them hundreds of dollars. Alan, Alan this is a uh, big so, dub. Right yeah, here. this is big dub right here. Hey, hey. But I'm happy for you, dude. That's, yeah, that's dope. That's one of my favorite Boss Fight figures. Like to date, is that figure right there. Big dub actually just put his YouTube channel in the uh, comments, so everybody go and click on that. Subscribe to yes, the man. Please, thank you. <clears throat> You Kyle, you should send me a picture of that, brother. Big subs to big dubs. How we do it? Hey, listen. <laughs> big dub likes big hauls. Yeah, apparently. If you go back and watch uh, Toylana from earlier in the year, and he the, fills the out. If, if today was a seventy-eight dollar haul, that was like an eighty-four dollar like haul. A hundred. A hundred. How many? Uh, how many Toy Biz figures did you buy? Oh, close All to seventy was. Toy Biz legends. Yeah. And there's an underground market. So underground market, yeah. Hey, we don't want to do that. Toyland is a great <laughs> show. Yeah, Cincy Nerd is in the house. What's up, brother? Oh, my lord. Thank yeah, you, like a look. don't forget to su subscribe to Cincy Nerd. Just some two of them in. Just some two of them in. Mm -hmm. A weekend. I broke into today. Oh, um, Cincy, since you're here, brother, um, Cody broke into the sixth scale game, and he got a uh, three, what the fuck is this? Three zero Rick Grimes figure. <laughs> Big Dub got that that PX Punisher. Um, you like it when I touch you that way, don't you? <laughs> but, <laughs> but Cody I'm got it. Cody got this. <laughs> Ooh, the undercarriage. Honestly, <laughs> besides what's going on back there, I'm excited for Cody with this, dude. This is yeah, his, his first yeah. six scale. Yeah, that's for sure. And it looks fantastic. So this is dope. Did Cody take it out yet? Yeah. Yeah, we can go ahead and pop it up. I gotta get that piece back in. Is it this one right here? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I want to show you guys this, because honestly, if I watched uh, Walking Dead more religiously, I'd probably go after this now. You should do a uh, little video on it. should. Or, or at least have it, you're going to have it on the shelf so we can see it yes. for a uh, good thing in the morning. Yeah, you, you should review it. Good thing in the morning, here's Rick Grimes. You should review oh. this. I'm thinking my first review on Good Thing in the Morning is going to be my special ops punisher when it comes out. So... Oh, there it is. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh my 
<laughs> that fits. That looks so good. This dude. is the new, uh... It's the, the new the variant Punisher. PX Punisher. This was sent directly from Mezco. Yeah, it's the elephant with this, uh, The Master Punisher. Yeah, this is from, uh, the, the Mountain Goat Punisher. It's, it's pretty dope. That's cool. Let's go. I'm glad Mezco sent it. It's just for us to see... But anyways, on a more serious matter, here is... The what is this three zero? Three zero. I you don't know why. Yeah, why is it? Is there it's a three eight? Okay. Does, yeah. Okay. So here's the three zero Rick Grimes. Um, it even comes with the infamous red mesh. Did you take this out? The machete. Oh, Greg. No. Good night, Greg. Sorry for this. Good night, brother. Greg, if you're even still here. Dude, there's actually weathering on the on the blade. Dang. So I, handle machete. I know you can't see that, but here he is. Since he said great pickup. Thank you, um, man. Just wait until you hear what he, how he got this. Yeah. It's, man, it's insane. Here, will you put this in so I don't mess it up? Yeah. Thank you, brother. And then, uh, Big Dub back here actually got the Michonne. Uh, oh, for yeah. The same. Yeah, this one. He got this one. I have Rick and Lee at home. Uh, how much, what did he pay for it? Twelve dollars. He's actually trading a pop. For it. I, can I say that? So it's already been said, right? No, but... They, no, yeah, yeah. He, no, he did. Oh, you yeah. said it, right? You said what you were trading for it? Blue pills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. He's yep. trading me some blue pills. Yeah, he's trading a... Uh, the Sandy... Crystal Blue Heisenberg. The Crystal Blue Heisenberg for this... There was a lot of negotiation time. all around on I mean, that, was, on that yeah. thing. Honestly, we, this, got, we didn't pay that much for old Ricky. This whole trip has been just like one big, like... Haggle. Yeah, haggle. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. The first offer was we're fun reviewing this on the live stream. Yeah, that got turned on. Um, <laughs> it's it's, it's nice. Tweet. It's nice. Yeah. There it is. Good review. This is his say what again. I mean, post. that's like a remote explosives remote. Like for bomb detonation. Mm -hmm. Just looking at all the random things in here. Can I pull this out right here? Me? Or can you? <laughs> so I don't know. I just I, I haven't opened you. Yeah, I'm not going to open. I just want to look at. It. So here is um, some of the accessories for the PX Punisher. This is a sniper rifle. This is a grenade launcher. This is a rocket launcher. This is the uh, like the harness tactical gear maybe. I don't know. Yeah. This is the red. This is the move right here. This is the muzzle blast. This is obviously I mean, the uh, the, the base. There's so many songs. Then we have the duffel bag, which I'm well sorry. Which I'm super excited that the Spec Ops Punisher is going through here. Yeah, I pre-ordered the entire X-Men wave through Hasbro. Look at that. X-Men wave. Look at this. Apocalypse. Oh. This is the uh, say what one more time pose. Dude, that's a cool... F Even down to the boots. And like the, the weathering on the jeans. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that's awesome. And then it comes with a little uh, trench coat looking thing. But, yeah. Big dumb. Yes. Thank you for showing that. Yeah, that was bought at Comics to Games. So since he, if uh, Mike has any dope ass Mezcos left, he'll probably take them back to the store. Yeah, man. since he, if, uh, he had at least two of the old Dark Knights. I don't know if you have those or not. He had the Black Cow and the Blue Cow, older Dark Knight ones. I know. Since he just picked up the Black Suit Spidey too. Yeah, he did. Cody actually picked that up too. Uh, since he. It's over there somewhere. Oh yeah, <laughs> we gotta take that picture. Um, oh, my bad, dude. Thank so, you, So, I mean, we got, we got some good, uh, we got some damn good holes. Yeah, we did, man. I like that Michonne, dude. That looks very, very good. Yeah. I'm happy for all of us. Yeah, dude. I'm, like, happy for everybody's holes. This is insane. Uh, since I told Cody, this reminds me of Chicago. Because one, one bed is full of, of toys. And I kind of, uh, yeah, took over the reins with doing uh, Hot Toys hauls, not saying you didn't, but just from Chicago, because since he bought oh, like, got one. two or three, uh, you want to, oh, you technically. <laughs> I mean, I got, <laughs> technically. I got four six scale figures sitting here. Yeah, well, yeah. well, I technically have two because it's Pepper and Iron Man together. That's pretty, I mean, and I got the Doctor Doom. Doom. I got Michelle. The Doctor Doom is really cool. Yeah. yeah. He killed it. Um, so. What Darth Vader did you get, Josh? Um, I got the Rogue One Darth Vader. Which is sick. Yeah, I'm super excited. I, uh, I opened it up, 
And I, I took the, the cover off, and that's about as far as I got, because I don't want to mess with it. Uh, yo, since we're drinking, brother. We're drinking some Bud Light. We got shots for Later. 200 subs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Big Dub hit 200 subs on the stream, so we took a uh, shot of a great Goose. Goose. Did I see any? Yeah, brother, honestly, Nick, the only table that had old vintage collection figures were insanely overpriced. Other than that, it was all like the... I the know new. I should have gotten the Joker, but I had a package deal going, and it's we're, we're all or not. So I said I should have gotten the Hot Toys Joker. It's, Who said it's that? It's all or none. Who said that? Andrew. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. Andrew. I know. His eyes moved. Cincy, the autograph, His eyes moved. Uh, wow. we're going to... But um, if you're going to put it on the table, you got to be prepared to take it off the what, table. What time does the, the show open tomorrow? Eight. No. Eight? No. I'm not saying. Ten? Doors open at eight. Show opens at ten. It's pretty short. <sighs> Anyways, uh, parental advisor, I'm going to say some curse words. Um, the autographs were ran what did it say? shitty. It was horrible. It sucked ass. It was absolutely horrible. Um, they, they, they would shut the lines down randomly. And you weren't allowed to uh, get in line unless the, the person oh, was at to. the table. Sure. What are we doing? Yeah. What's, what's the behind me? We were going to uh, get a tent and camp out there for the rest of the night. Hey, we had a grill out there. The charcoal guys. Yeah. yeah. And since it literally, if, if I were to have gotten my Jeremy Bullock autograph and my Ian McDermott autograph. Um, None of this would be. No, I would not have any haul at all. Unless I asked these, if I if I gave these guys money and said, hey, just go buy this, this, and this if you see it. Literally, someone said that they waited two and a half to three hours for Jeremy Bullock's autograph. And then Ian McDermott was probably like a two and a half hour line at the beginning, I would say. And on top of that, they were both going in and out of photo ops and panels. So... I, I completely underestimated that at all. Like, I was so high. I was like, yeah, I'll just walk in. I'll go through Ian McDermott's line, and I'll go get Jeremy Bullock's autograph, and I'll, then I'll go shut up. Nope, absolutely not. That is not what happened at all. What the hell is that? Oh. So. 11 a.m. for Sunday. Damn, it opened at 11? Yeah. That sucks. 11 I, to 5. Yeah, that sucks. I mean, I don't think I'm waking up so very long. Um. Okay. What's your thoughts on the Iron Man Hot Toys? Um, Here, I'll show you my thoughts on the Iron Man Hot Toys. I'll show you uh, a video with some thoughts. Yeah, this has got a lot of Iron Man. So yeah, pretty much it, it was just a, a shit show. I mean, I don't know if it was the, the fanboys. Yeah, dude, that looks really good. That look like that picture you need to post on Instagram. I think so. Yeah. Or just the, the story. I would post it on the story. Um, what was I going to say? I don't know if it was the, the fanboy staff who ran it poorly. I don't know if it was who set up like where the booths are located because they put all of the popular people like right next to each other. And so there was no room to walk, no room to breathe. Nature boy Ric Flair. Yeah, we saw we did see Ric Flair. We saw a couple of the, the Backstreet Boys homies. Oh the Tron Iron Man Hunt. Oh, I want that. Oh that Tron. gives me pleasure okay. in the my bad, I might have uh, misread that. Mike Harris, uh, I'm so gonna love my. Okay, here we go. Love my Jeremy Bullock is getting up there in Asia. So, honestly, it was sad seeing him because his wife actually had the points to where he should start signing his name. And I guess all he was signing was his name. I didn't notice that. Yeah, the, the, the guys who I sold my Ian autograph to, they said that he was signing so slow because his wife would have to point and he would. And he has like tremors, so his hand oh, would shake. Sad. Yeah, I mean it was it was honestly sad. That makes more sense because I remember standing there going, "Why are we not moving at all when we would even try to get in yeah. line?" It just wouldn't. So, move. I mean, unfortunately, I don't think Jeremy is going to be signing at conventions much longer, just based off of how he was. Because he started at like ten forty-five, and it was three, four, three or four o'clock, and he didn't he didn't even take a break. Like he was just continually signing. He did a panel, he did photo ops. Um, he even got dressed up in the Boba Fett gear and took pictures with people. So, I mean, it was cool, but honestly, I'm not gonna waste the whole day on two autographs at all. So, I spent $93 on Ian McDermott's autograph and I ended up selling it to the person in front of me for 60 bucks. That's when you get the VIP. 
and, days and just do it. And just spend yeah. the whole day waiting. Needful thing says I miss the days when I hope the auto process is a watch. celebration as well. Honestly, 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 I think it will be better con, there because the, fam, the fanboy, <laughs> um, like the area was so the small yes. because on each side of the, the floor was autographs. So I think that's a lot what was wrong with it was there was just too many because people would um people would keep asking like hey what line is this and what line is that and everyone was merged together yeah, that was, that was so it, it was kind of a, a cluster mess and then um <laughs> i think i think celebration would be better so the oh, only sure. line i'll really stand Four is Mark Hamill. I'm 100% getting his autograph. Family is still relatively new. They still have a lot. No, of that's what I said. I don't. I don't know if it was like the staff, particularly today, or if it was the the people who organized. Your booth is here. Yeah. Because like we talked about earlier, on the opposite side, there was nobody yeah. getting autographs. So. And I have more space. Yeah. I mean, logistics planning for a con. It's got to be quite a bit of work. And oh, that's most of the people are volunteers. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah. They have a regular job, so it's, mm -hmm. you know, like that, those poor folks that were getting railed because the lady get, didn't get to see Boba Fett's uh, lower half. Yeah. That that girl's not, I mean, she might make a hundred bucks to volunteer that weekend, but it isn't. Yeah, it was, it was, nobody's uh, no bucks it was, I mean, it was crazy. It was cool. The people treat them all. The con itself was, honestly, it was probably my favorite convention that I've been to. It was very good. I, obviously outside of C2E2. Like, that was just an experience in its own. Yeah. But like toy show wise, like it beats the Columbus Toy Show. It has beat any other local show that I've been to. So it was good. Definitely, this needs to be a yearly tradition. I would say. Yep. yep. Without, yeah, without a doubt. And Greg's in here. He's coming up. Greg every Cook's year. back. I don't know if he is, but he's he's coming up every year. Yep. Greg Cook. Is oh yeah. Dude. I thought you knew he's back in the chat. Greg's a man. Yeah, he is. Always smiling. He is. Peace and love. Peace, love, and positive. Got that, got that out of there. Yeah. And he's been to Okinawa, so he's been to three days in Okinawa. I mean, I imagine there's some stories that weren't told from yeah. the time in the service, but <laughs> it's even more year. impressive that he keeps a smile on his face, I'm sure. That's true. He is. He Were is you guys able to meet up with, oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Is that what you guys are answering? Well, I'd be able to find stick his video on. Yeah, you guys want to watch part one once we get off here? That'd be cool. Let's do that. Are you watching part one now? Yes. Oh, don't watch it That's now. That's cheating. Yeah, don't Aww. watch it now. It's already too late. Okay, we'll turn the volume down. Yeah. What? And you're using my case. <laughs> <laughs> you just subscribed. <laughs> you follow him on Instagram. <laughs> oh man, but Cincy, brother, you need to you need to come down next summer, man. Cause it, it's honestly it's worth it. Since he would have it's been a lot. Yeah, dude, there was so many hot toys here. I guarantee, what, you think we saw 50 to 60 hot toys today? Yes. Yeah. I mean, there was one. Some horrifically overpriced, but there were two Hulkbusters. I mean, yeah. that's. There was two Hulkbusters in one show, and that's pretty crazy. Um, we. But there was the one guy that was proud of his hot toys and had them all at like $600. Christ. I don't even want to talk Tried about that. Tried to tell you how stupid you were Did for pre-order. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Darth Nerf Herder. Hey Darth, Darth Fox. Since he, one was time subscriber but new to the chat. Thank you. One brother. was 18. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah. Like, you can't find this. And movie. I should have bought the $1,300. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was a pretty funny. Or $72. Since you know you get those fighting. So there's a um, $900. Yeah. yeah. See, I didn't really want to say that because I knew it, but you had to I'm show a little inner thigh for nine hundred. Honestly, the the place had it for twelve hundred. You know, when you got haggled it. But you know what's crazy is I'll tell the story since you're like typing and I'm actually talking. Apparently, there was a sale for twenty five percent off their whole store, and he ended up getting like some sort of like deal with that, and it came out for that. So. It's the time to make the big purchase. Oh, yeah. Did you show him the spine? Thank you, Kyle. I'll look, bro. Um, since I have the chat pulled up here. I'm like, what? Did you show him the spine? Spidey. Your Spidey? Yours. My Spidey. Yeah, yeah. I sent him a picture. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want it? Because remember I asked him what I should buy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Since he did... Wait, hold on. Did you know that I bought the, the deluxe? Fuck it. Let me see it. Let's say, man. I mean, retail, too. That's a, that's a yeah. feat right there. Hold on. Let's see if we can get Especially this on camera. Especially we've seen it twice for 400 
Can you guys read that? It's two sixty nine ninety nine. Hey. hey, hey. <laughs> So, I think it was I, with the damn Tennessee tax of 10%, this came out to like 290 after the tax. DTT. Um, DTT it gets you. So. <laughs> DTT. But, in all honesty, um, luckily for Cody, this is like an hour from him. Yeah, about 45 minutes to yeah. an hour. And they're, they're, he's going to start carrying a lot of hot toys for retail. And he has tons of SHV works now. Me and Josh actually talked yeah. him into probably... He's thinking about trying to get Mezco. Mezco. Uh, no, there were not Yondus there. Nope, no Yondus. So I know that company because they have a store in a couple malls there. They're they're a true sideshow distributor, so they're going to get stuff. Like So I would imagine in the next two weeks they'll have four. And then probably a couple weeks later they'll have the Yondu. So it'll just be a, like a couple weeks behind, like big bucks, like big. a couple bucks behind pre-order people. Yeah. <coughs> this but actually... I'm excited for this Spidey. I wish. I mean, I, I don't see y'all do at my house on Tuesday. Yeah, I don't. I don't wish that I was home specifically right now. Like, I don't want to think that I'm not having fun here. But I wish that I could open this right now. <laughs> because I don't. I don't feel like opening this and putting it all back in here, all pre. Because you don't want to put that code on. No, the DTT yeah. was at a store in the mall, not at the convention. Yeah, yeah, no, no DTT at. Uh, yeah. Um, no, there was no Yondu's at the convention. Let's what? What's some random hot toys that we saw? We saw a bunch of Iron, crazy wow. Iron Mans. There yeah. was uh, Striker Iron Man. There was Tank Iron Man. There was Disco Iron Man. Disco, yeah. Mark Forty Six. Ghost Rider. Mark Forty Two. Yeah, we there was Ghost Rider. Sideshow Ghost Rider. Um. Heath Ledger DX 2.0 Joker. Yeah, we saw saw Wolverine. We saw the uh, Winter Soldier. Should have bought that Winter, Winter Soldier. Soldier. Yeah, Winter Soldier. The Jack Nicholson Joker. Yeah. The um, eyes. The eyes that move. Boots in the fur. There was <laughs> all of the recent troopers. I think we saw the Trooper two packs. We saw I. Honestly, I passed up on a Hoth Leia for two fifty. There's the Mark Five, and I kind of, I kind of regret that a little bit because that's the same price as that it would be if I ordered it and had it shipped. Um, and I might even be able to talk about a little smidgen. Um, Since but, let me get that Mark One. But other than that, there's really nothing that I passed on, like hot toy wise, that I'm upset about. There's stuff that we forgot. Like, yeah, there, there, there's tons that I forgot. That's what happens at con. You I mean, know where you can get a Hoth Leia? What? Does uh, Mike have one? Like Wait, do comics the games have that Hoth Leia? I didn't no. see a third party Logan. There was the Wolverine. Yeah, they actually are. Wolverine. Yeah. Since you where can I get a Hoth Leia from? His house? No, he doesn't have Hoth Leia. Toy Hunters. Oh, yeah, up in uh, Mansfield. Yep. Huh. Damn, I need to make it up there. That's, such a, that's, a, that's a good store there, brother. If I, have the, if I get the Mark One, I, I will have the full Hall of Mark in Hot Toys 137. Seriously? Original, the original Hall of Mark That's crazy, dude. Probably 20 Iron Man Hot Toys. 20 so, Iron Man Hot Toys? That's good. What? Yeah. Damn, you done used it like that? It's good. I never you used it like that? I mean, you use the battery like that. Oh, yeah, that's 31 percent. Well, if you weren't watching Greg's video before us, it probably would have lasted oh, a little longer. No, maybe you should talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Dude, she's tired. She's tired. Are it's you tired? Out. You're a little sleepy. Look at her. Look. Yeah. yeah, you're a little glossy. Yeah, I know we don't even want to hurt right now. Hey, Magnolia. Magnolia. We're going to Magnolia. Stop. This is my live stream. I'm just kidding. I don't know what Magnolia is. Yeah, uh, the, uh, the flower. Isn't yeah. that a flower? Magnolia? Sentinel build the figure. <laughs> Anyone yeah, chat about the Toy I'll Biz build. Deluxe Fell Beast? What? Uh, how was the con? Drew's, it was amazing. It was great. It was insane. Uh, Adam says, Foxy had joined Collector's Zone this morning and already bought a Mesco from them. Wait, what? Oh, nice. Adam Fry bought a awesome, Mezco from Collector's Zone. What did I call them earlier? <laughs> what did you call Collector's Zone? Yeah. 
It was so. It was something totally different. Yeah, it was. I was because I thought it was a uh, comic cave or what is it called? Some comic, comic exchange. Comic, yeah. It was like, I kind of want the purple coat Joker from Suicide Squad. Not to me. I think so. You can get it cheap now. I got I got the Deadshot Forbidden Planet New York for they had thirty percent. I, I want that Harley Quinn. It looks just like Margot Robbie. Is it expensive now or no? Well, no, no, it's no still I, got, I got it, I got it, you know, Sideshow every once in a while does like holidays, maybe Memorial Day, they had like 10% off and free shipping, I got it from the Oh, uh, that'd be great. Uh, Cincy, Mike's booth was getting, well, first of all, he got a lot of traffic from us, um, yeah. but his credit card, his uh, service on his phone went down, so for any credit card purchase while we were there, he had actually called the store and type it in, so that was, I felt bad for him, um, but... I would say he did pretty good through us because yeah, he probably got fifty of our seventy-eight. Dub got the PX Punisher and a Figma from him, correct? Yeah, Greg and then uh, Greg got the Deluxe Thor. Mm-hmm. I and then I got Mezco Spider Man. Yeah, he got the Mezco Spider Man. I almost bought the Spider Man. Yeah, and I, I almost bought that Thor too, honestly, because he had two of them there. I almost bought that, but I was like, I don't need three His Thors. Eyes sparkle. <laughs> it was pretty damn good. Uh, I was very, very impressed with Mike's booth. Yeah. I'll say that. Them, I think them and Comic yeah. Exchange, man. Yeah, they killed they, me. They, oh, man. But, uh, Mike was very, very happy, I think, with us. So, I mean, he said thank you for bringing everybody. So, That's true. I mean, not that I brought them specifically. Josh, uh, but... what's your Hot Toys Grail? Oh, God. Um, off the, oh, Jesus, off the rip. Um, Grail is hard because I don't think I've been collecting long enough to have a Grail, but one, something that I would want, um, a couple of random ones. I would like a Grand Moff Tarkin. I would like a Civil War Scarlet Witch. I would like a Winter Soldier uh, Captain America. Those are some couple off the rip that I would want. Um, so I, I don't think I've been collecting long enough to have a Grail. Is the Stealth Cap? From Winter Soldier, the one that comes with the Steve Rogers, the two, that's the two pack. Is that what it is? I I think it is. I, I see I that one know. piece on eBay where you can get the actual stealth one at not a bad price if you just want half because people want the Steve Rogers because I don't think there's a lot of Steve uh, Rogers. Boomstick ninety eight says Josh saw you guys at the expo. It looked like you guys were in the middle of a deal, so I didn't want to stop and say hi. There was no deal making for happening. in the future. Um, if you ever, if anybody ever sees us and it looks like we're busy, just just, just pop in and yeah. say hi. Seriously, might even, yeah, you might like, be able to help. like I don't give a shit yeah. who I'm talking to. If you want to say hi to me, say hi to me. Yeah, you might be able to help. And if we're making yeah. a deal and you see something you want, just come over. Yeah. And we'll, we'll get it in on there too. Yeah. So it was honestly, it was probably the Winter Soldier dilemma because that's when what's his face saw me or something. Uh, Proud. Yeah. Yeah. So he came up to me and said, "Hey, Foxy." Yeah. So, but but thank oh, you yes, for at least noticing us, man. I appreciate it. So, uh, Danny says about to post these Gladiator Thor Hot Toys pics to the page, industry reviews, and saying, yeah, it looks really good, man, but I have the Age of Ultron <laughs> Thor, and then I have the Infinity War Thor on pre-order, so I, I, I can't have three Thors. Ugh. The Infinity War Thor is the one. It does. <laughs> Rapid Amber says, <laughs> I'm, a shy, I'm a shy person, but if I didn't have the chance to see you guys in person, I would run <laughs> with those, like, slow motion on the beach. beach. Oh, man. Um, That's insane. Good times. Dragon Ball Super? Did you watch Dragon Ball Super? I watched a little bit of it. I haven't finished it yet. It's all there if you want. Oh, really? Oh, well. Just ended. Yeah. Just ended. Um... Yeah, it's not easy. Excited to work my way through the series. Humbert says, my hair does and six inch would be cool as hell. Um, I need a red skull. That's probably up there in my grail. Red Hot skull. Grail. Hot it's very expensive. Like, what are we talking about? Like, it's hard to find, and it's, I mean, it's just a regular figure. It was probably 200 when it came out, and I'm sure mm-hmm. it's six dollars I've never seen it before. Are you taking pictures? Yeah, I'm going to do that real quick. Well, you better put them back in the box. You got that. You got to take the big picture. Yeah. Yeah, yeah a little. Um, ooh la la. Guys, 
it's that time where I'm ending the stream. Because it's midnight. I did not even realize it's fucking midnight yet. Right now. So it's been, what's 154 minutes? Two and a half hours. Two and a half hours? Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. yeah. We're going to sit here and chill. Um, Cody's going to take some pictures. I think Brooklyn wants to fall asleep. But that's a, that's a yes, kind of. So we're going to hopefully take our picture of this. So make sure you guys follow us on Instagram. You know where to find us. But. At Foxy for real. Um. Yeah, what is it? Big Dub sixty. Big Dub sixty. Big Dub 60. And then I, I Josh Pence underscore Hunts. But I love you guys. Twenty six ten. Yeah, don't follow her until like three months from now. But I love you guys so much, and I'll see you uh, Monday in the newest video. And as always, <sighs> stay foxy. Big Dub, big halls. Big Dub, big halls. There you go. <laughs> May the big be with you. See you guys. Love you.